Yeah. I know what you're thinking. Here go another damn podcast. But you got me to up, partner. This here gonna be a little different, man. Check me out, though. Let me spit some of this pimp shit. You did. She say, where we going, baby? I say, we going to the moon. But I'm the biggest star in this movie. And you'll be coming soon. Don't why you in motion? Picture this. Just listen when I spit. I be your Santa Claus. Ho, ho, ho. You can have everything on your Christmas list. You ain't gotta say a word. I do all the talking. But you the big step baby. You do all the walking. Hold on. Stop the beat. What the hell they got to do with the podcast? You stand there talking like you a damn pimp. You a comedian. You ain't no damn pimp. Man, why you hating, mama? Because you're messing up my image. Man, what you want me to do? You want me to change it up? Yeah, don't nobody want to hear that shit. All right, mom, I'm, I'm going to change it up. Put some salt in their mouth. What's up with it, baby? What's up with it? Yeah, it's time to get it started. Hey. Got your name funk sway in the field. Right. And you know more. You know more. Okay. Yeah, we both from the country, the country. but we living in the city. Yeah. yeah, my mama might be a little old, but she's still looking pretty. Come on, you now. country Come folks in the city. You know what I'm and you know we stay clean. Press the if you see me on 5150, then it's two, two lines. Line. No, I'm rapping ass. Yeah, we use different words, country but brown. we saying the same Put thing. Yeah, we independent now. Don't need nobody. But we still mainstream. Yeah. Now there you go. That's better. Now start the damn show. Hey, Jack. Guess who's black? Guess who's back? Y'all already know what's happening, chat. Hey, mainstream episode 51 in this thing. Real quick before we get started, if you in the chat right now, and you ain't subscribed, hit the damn subscribe button for your boy now. Hit that like button. Get us in this algorithm. And comment. You know what I'm saying? And share this thing. Fool with us if you're cool with us. Now, I am your host. You know Marcus. And to my right, I have my co-host. Oh, ain't got no mic. Where my mic? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, she don't get no introduction tonight. <laughs> to my left. Oh, Folks <laughs> to my left, got my other co-host. Hey, it's Chad. We ain't here acting bad. What's up with it, Chad? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I have a special guest today. Uh, straight out of you from LA, ain't you? LA. Straight out of LA. LA. Yeah, my dog Cameron Tory in this thing, man. Cameron Tory with the yes, Hollywood sir. story. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. Tell them for who you is, man, for the folks that don't know nothing about you, man. Cameron Tory, up-and-coming comedian, man. I got a show every Tuesday called Trippy Tuesdays on Sunset and Gower. I'm on Instagram. I post stand-up clips. I post sketches. I post a little bit of everything. So you can come into my world if you follow me on my gram, at Cameron Tory. And I said, yeah. 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 Court, the the Cameron, year. Cameron have been in the game for, how, you been, how long have you been in the game? Five years. He's been five years in the game, you know what I'm saying? It's, he, 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 you affiliated, you know what affiliated, I'm saying? Affiliated, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. His pops is of uh, the- A little the, connected. The, 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 the legendary Joe Torrey. That's Joe Torrey's son, you know, mm-hmm. got Torrey's nephew, you know what I'm saying? So, you know. Yeah. God damn me. Well, yeah. West Side Connection in this motherfucker. You, yeah. know, yeah. you know, you know, I got yeah, mob know. ties. Got mob ties, Yeah, you know man. what I'm saying? He got mob ties you know, in the company. You know. Day, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and he be, you, know, you probably haven't seen him on- uh, a couple of sketches out of the dead and shit, you know what I'm saying? You know, good peoples, man. Really good peoples, man. You know, I rock with that boy. And, uh, you know, so I just told him, man, come on through this week, man. Shit, we, cause we was just going to do me, mama, and, and, and Chad. He was like, man, shit, man, who up there this week? I said, shit, God, shit, you got it. You got it, my dog. You Let's know what get saying? it. Let's get it. I got you. Yeah. We're going to get on here and talk this shit. Yes, Before sir. we start get started, though, you know, we got to check the temperature of the room. So I'm going to start with mama. Uh, how your past week been? <laughs> Nose well, my last week I was uh, getting well, getting over COVID. Got COVID while I was mm-hmm. gone, fooling with big man them and, and uh. And you know who had it? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't never get checked for that shit. If I got, it, I'm gonna go through it. <laughs> he probably done had a free time and didn't even tell us and didn't let us know that we need to be protecting ourselves. You be all right. Oh my God. But hey, I'm well today. All is good. And that's all I did this week. Just took care of myself and got well. Go okay. Ahead, okay. 
Chad, what you what about you, man? How, how you past week was, well, man? Oh man, shit. I had Cuzzo come to one of my little performances, man. He finally got to see me on stage. Making a damn fool of myself, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, man, he did. <laughs> hey, yeah, I did. Yeah, he did. He ain't do too bad, man. Not too shabby, man. I can tell. You know what I'm saying? He just got to get that little stage present together, man. And you know what I'm saying? He he, he was alright. Close alright, man. He did, did did pretty decent, man. You know what I'm saying? Proud of that boy, man. Yeah, man. Yo, yo. I said, look at him, man. Look at him, man. Looking like a young version of myself. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, well, shit, that's a compliment because that nigga hit the stage running. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Once, you, once yeah. you get your, once you get your comfort level up there, man, which is gonna take you getting on the stage more. Shit, you gonna be all right, man. Yeah, you gonna yeah. be all right, man. Keep writing, and you know what I'm saying. I see where you. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go back. I still gotta go go through it real quick so I can help you tag up some shit. We can you can see it from a different perspective. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. And uh, you know. We 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 gonna get you down through that, but dog, we don't even worry about it. Yeah, yeah, up there, up there. Yeah, yeah, Cam, Cam, how your week been, man? What you you, you doing anything special, man? What's, what's what's happening? Talk to us. My week was great, man. I had a good show last night. Yeah, some new stuff. Like I was telling y'all earlier, man. That's why I love hosting because hosting allows you to really write on stage. You know what I mean? You ain't got to worry about the light. You ain't got to worry about. What you doing is right. Look, if the joke bombs, you can be like, hey, and next up, we got <laughs> yada, yada, yada. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yo, know, I come back, y'all good. Hey, right, right. Go back a bit, get some time to prepare yourself. Yep. <laughs> then I'm coming back with some some polished stuff yeah. between the next act. I'm like, all right, I got some for y'all. Yeah, 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 yeah <laughs> man. Yeah, yeah, he do it. What, what, where is that, too? Is it, where is it? Sunset and Gower, right upstairs from Roscoe's, Chicken and Waffles, the good Roscoe's. This is yeah. a good one. Right yeah. in Hollywood, the heart of Hollywood, right on Sunset. And, uh, yeah, we do it every Tuesday. Chad's been down there twice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, 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 I love, I love Tuesday, doing the cam so room. It's like, that was what I was like, you've never seen Chad before? But I was like, oh, no, you haven't because he's been, he's been in my spot. But, like, you do your own thing on Tuesday. Yeah, so, yeah. All right. But, right. yeah. So, <clears throat> yeah, so I, uh, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, who did who 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 say it? Uh, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> He's a Who's them? Uh, what they say for star? For star, say five dollars. Uh, mama look like the Madam Pimp at Joe Nay's Juke Joint. Oh, I need that five. Oh, uh, you ain't. Oh, you. <laughs> oh, who's the master? I got to uh, Oh, who's the master? He got okay. show enough on this. Show picture. enough. Okay, my bad. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll just, okay, I got you. I got you. Uh, <laughs> All right, man. We're gonna, we're gonna get straight to it this week, man. Because we been, you know, what I'm saying we got a whole lot of topics to get through. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Uh, yeah. Cam, I don't know if you ever watched the full episode of this, man. Uh, but I'm gonna walk you through it, man. The way okay. we do it, man. We just gonna. He said, "Dumber glasses in effect." Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm uh, the way uh, the way we do this here, man. You know, you just pitch it however you want to, man. Well, you know, if, if if you got something to say, get it off your chest, man. You know, just as long as we ain't uh, you know, talking over each other, man. Everything be uh, flow smooth. You know what I'm saying? You go ahead, come in, crack your jokes whenever you feel like. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and just you know, like we having a conversation outside the improv. Just, you know what I'm saying? Airtight, man. We're gonna be all right. You know what I mean? You got me. <laughs> gonna be all right. All right. Gotcha. <laughs> All right, now the name of the first segment. Um, well, well, the first segment is basically you know when people be doing crazy shit in the news. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and they just go a little bit too far sometimes. So I uh, titled this uh, name of the segment right here. Sit your country ass down, man. Sit your country ass down, man. <laughs> now, <clears throat> oh, Kelly. God damn, he back? Uh, he's back. What? His docuseries reveals he silenced Aaliyah's parents. Because, uh, 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 well, well they, they paid him. Uh, hold on. He paid. Wait, God damn it. Hold on. He paid. I'm Because I'm, I'm finna word it wrong. Wait, he paid the them. Huh? He paid the parents. Yeah, he basically paid them the his first I think his first three album sales, they told him uh uh that's what that's that's what he basically gonna give him give them some money off the three album sales for Aaliyah. So basically what? they traded their daughter for money from the three albums first three album sales. Hmm. Now 
R. Kelly looking a little bit more, a little bit more uh, 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 like, um, uh, I ain't going to say a victim, um, but it seems like he was, um, he, when, you, when you feed the monster, when you feed the monster. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he was, he was used, goddamn it, shit. He's, like the shoes are cold. Appreciate you, man. Listen, listen, y'all. Hey, y'all got to get start locking down on all them parents, man. Y'all got to stop locking. Y'all got to start. They got to get the man. Listen, you hustle your children. You suppose that's trafficking. Why ain't they charging them folks, man? <laughs> Why would you t- why would you make a deal with a nigga? Oh, man, you can do whatever you want with my dog. This ain't the damn what's that with the monarchy? You know, in the mon- uh, in the monarchies. No, oh, uh You know they they train you know, overseas they, they have dowries and shit. Yeah. yeah. You, you 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 they do dowries in uh other cultures. Yeah, they trade you know, they trade it look give you, cows you can have and shit. My daughter, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Give me give me two mules. And a cow, and you can have my daughter. What the, what, what? <laughs> Wait, this is America, people. <laughs> what are we doing here? <laughs> that shit is against the law here. You can't do no pimping out here. Let y'all <laughs> tell it. Cause that's what it is. It's, it's only trafficking if they if if they would have sold to the more than one. They only sold to the one. It's still you know pimping. Huh? It's it, still pimping. It was you a diary. Your daughter. It was a diary. They they Listen. adopted the Asian culture or any culture. That allows you to trade your hand, your daughter's hand in marriage, for a fee. But that no, they can't do that. Yeah, now, who you the can't do that in America. Yes, you can. Yeah, yeah. Them Asian cultures still have diaries over here. That's Asian. Well, all them other cultures, whatever culture they, but they in America and they they have diaries for their kids. But no. that's because the kids comply. You no. don't have to comply in America. Comply. In those other countries, you got to comply. In America, you ain't got to comply. No, That's in them, like in them you, other you know. countries, the daughter don't have to comply. So in India, when they got them arranged marriages. Yeah, them kids hate that shit. But they I, do it. I got a, I got an Arab it. homie who, who ran Listen. from his parents for years because they arranged him a marriage. Listen, man. Aaliyah probably don't need no, didn't need know nothing about that. <laughs> they probably came to they probably came to Kelly like look I I see you've been on my daughter. I see you've been well, you know, following her after school and shit. You know what I mean? I mean <laughs> <laughs> two, two, you know what beep, I, mean? beep. I, 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 I see you've been watching her from your roof. Yeah. Look <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> Now usually I wouldn't do this, but you seem to be <laughs> You seem to be a, a, a well-renowned, you know what I'm saying? Got a little paper to you, man, and we kind of struggle a little bit. I'll let you go ahead and get my daughter for a small fee. That, that ain't the same as what you talking about. Her parents Just told her, that. you're going to have to go back and forth on that bald head freaking ninja. <laughs> Well, you could have did a better. Up. You could have did a better song, man. Is R. Kelly ball headed? Huh? Back He's then, the back then he was. That was the. That was, that was by choice, and that's what I that's hate. The that only was, I don't. I don't like that. I don't yeah. like no. Because I see it now sometimes. Because like you know, my hairline ain't the best, man. You know, I got this little hat, so you know, <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying. You know, I got, you know, I got, got my hat. Tall yeah, here. yeah. But <laughs> it's like when I see people. With a crispy line, but they shave their head bald anyways. It's just it's disrespectful, it's disrespectful to me. It's like, yo, it's disrespectful. I'm like, yo. He's the first nigga I've ever seen do that. Just yeah, go, just go, go bald from bald to braid. To yeah. yeah. I'm like, wait a minute, hold on, nigga. Wait a minute, nigga. I think he was the first nigga with weave. I I'm starting to believe that. But nigga <laughs> <laughs> But that but I, yeah, I, I, I can't stand niggas that do that. that I, I, what nigga, you you go you, you you went ball by choice? Yeah. What? <laughs> Nigga, that's a sickness. You feel me? <laughs> Shit. Uh, some motherfuckers feel like they look better with a bald head. Man, listen. The chrome down. Atticus girl talking about this is not a matter that should be joked about. Get your serious ass up out the chat, <laughs> man. God damn. Y'all. <laughs> the hell is you talking about? It's a comedy podcast, right? Man, that's yeah, right. Get on my damn nerves <laughs> with that shit. I'm trying to tell you what you're supposed to be. He here censoring niggas. Yeah. Get your ass out of here, boy. <laughs> uh, 
But no, to, to all them parents, man, that that that, that sold them, you know what I'm saying? That that, that, that sold uh, R. Kelly them babies, man. What what is it called? Accomplices. All oh, y'all accomplices. Sit your country ass mm-hmm. down, man. Shit, I'm trying to get him locked up now. You can't change it. No, 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 no. You can't change the shit now. Oh no. Mm-mm. I wonder if they signed documents. Hmm. I, I mean, for three album sales, they had to sign some. Yeah. Right. I know they ain't trust that nigga word. Hell no. I know that now. If you trust our killer word, shit, you, you deserve anything that's coming. Yeah. No. And, and he can't really. It was. It had to be well written because R. Kelly ain't write it, so you can't trust nothing <laughs> he wrote or said on a piece of paper because he told you on the thing. He was like, oh, I yeah. can't even read. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot. can't read. Yeah, they, yeah, they, probably, like, they probably, they probably, I don't even know how to read. I was he like, definitely what? needed some representation. If he had no representation, they probably fucked him over. <laughs> he probably would have told them one album. They, they got three out by his ass. Look, Little Rock, yeah. check it in. Yeah, NDAs was signed. Yeah. So they, right, man, right. listen. Uh, all right. She said touching kids is unforgivable. Can you consider Aaliyah a kid at the time? What, she was like 18? She was 15. No, she was a oh, kid. She was 15? No, she was oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She was a kid. Baby, baby. Oh, yeah, she was a kid. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Damn. That's why did your daughter age, ain't it? Man, he crammed in the cradle with her. Don't, don't, don't say it like this. <laughs> <laughs> don't say it like that. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, this was, this, was, this was a crazy ass story. In Laverne, Tennessee, Five officers was fired. Boy. <laughs> Three was suspended for sexual acts on duty. Had girls going wild going up there. The hot tub party. And uh, they called it a three-way relationship where this white woman getting set up. Yeah. Uh, her name was Megan Hall. They had a string of what they call raunchy encounters with staff members at the Laverne Police Station, which included uh, threesomes, Wild parties. She was sending explicit photos to the staff, and she was giving head to at least two of the officers in the gym of all things. In the gym, mm. and bragging about well, one of them meet. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, it was. I think it, it was four of them, right? Uh, the officers. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. was four. Of, four of them that was running through. Them. Yeah. What's even more crazy? She married. Oh, I thought they was married. She was married. She married. <laughs> they said she married. No. If I'm at the house and I'm watching the news, <laughs> imagine, imagine she was sitting right there next to him. <laughs> she's, trying, she's trying to try to turn it off. Oh, baby, just turn it off. They, they, no, they're talking about your police station, baby. What's going on? What happened? Up? Come on. No, 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 no. You want to turn, turn, turn this off. Turn this off. No, 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 no. no, no. What, the, what happened at your police station? And boy, she they sit there and tell you, oh, she was sucking multiple dicks and now and having, getting set out, having threesome hot tubs. She sent naked photos. Of you just got to. Choke the shit out of her right there. <laughs> Choke the shit out of her. <laughs> what? Hey. What's wrong with you? You scared me. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> Man, look. Oh, they say he knew. Oh, he's a freak too. Oh, my God. Oh, he but, said, I heard. I heard a husband knew. Uh, oh, the husband knew? That's, that's what, what somebody said. He heard him. He might just be knew. talking, though. Oh, no. No, but that, no, because there's some weird people who be into that. Yeah, they, yeah. Like, they like seeing their wife get like. Destroyed by like somebody else. Like I can't Man, do that. So I let remember. Me, let me watch somebody else but do what I can't do. They can't like, do it. Kind of, <laughs> kind of this is the fucked up part. Yo, though. they want to satisfy their wife. This is well. The, this yeah, is the fucked well, up part, uh, though. We have to fight when they kill one of us to get them motherfuckers suspended, fired, or any of that. Y'all heard them niggas was getting some head, and y'all was like, "I'll oh, fire them." Damn, they just got some, got a little bit of head. You can get fired for fucking, but not murder. But if it was consensual, yeah, what's wrong with your uh, head? You, because you <laughs> they get, did it. On, they let's do that get, on the they job. They were getting paid while they was getting the head. Oh, That's some well, cold yeah, shit, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know what? Well, you yeah, you, you're not you can't to have the government you, finance you your, your blowjobs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you get fired for, for for fucking, but for murder, you good. Man, ain't that a bitch? Well, Man, that's a hell of a mess. Well, no, it, dep- a it, a it also depends on the industry because I used to sell cars and I was a little flirty with this one chick and she bought a car because of me being flirty, bro. And you know, we did some shit, we did a little thing, 
And my manager, we used to have these things called surveys, CSI surveys, and that would it was a representation of the dealership. And if your CSI for the dealership was bad, the dealership would get less money from the manufacturer, which was Chevy at the time. So my manager told me, and I was like, hey, this is, I don't like the way this sounds, but all right, whatever, nigga, I, I need my job. He was like, hey, you better keep fucking her till the survey come in. I was like, <laughs> oh, but I don't want to. He was like, hey, dog, if the survey comes back fucked up, it's your ass. I'm right. like, oh my so, right. Right. Get so now I'm being pimped stop, out by pimp Chevrolet. You. Pimp you. I'm like, <laughs> I was yo, I was 21, so I didn't know no better. But yeah. I was like, yo, ain't that bla- some shit, They blackmail to blackmail. Ain't that a bitch? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, for that. And that was on the job. They're like, oh, no, this is a different industry. This is oh, a different oh, industry. Oh, no, you better keep fucking her. <laughs> Off the yeah. clock, too, nigga. Let me tell y'all something, because we all talk about that freaky shit. I was on... Tender, I believe. It, mm-hmm. it, it might have been. Tender. It might have been the uh, hinge or something like that. One of them. It was one of them. One of them. You know, swipe left, swipe right. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> it was a. Uh, it was a. It was a. It was a, a chick on there. First, I first seen it. Showed, just one picture of her. And I'm like, ooh, that motherfucker here tough. <laughs> swipe right immediately. We matched. I I didn't even look at the uh, the profile shit. Go on the profile. It said me and my king. Are looking for uh, 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 a, 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 a some like a nice stud or some yeah. shit like that uh, with at least eight inches of cock. Damn. Yeah, it was a black woman. Pacific. I so I'm like, what the fuck? She's like, he's it, uh, don't get don't worry. He doesn't want to do anything. He just want to sit there and watch. Now, at this point, I'm like, hold on, what? <laughs> she say. He wants to see his. He wants to see me. Uh, excuse my language. Uh, 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 I don't want to hear that. He wants to see me uh. get fucked in the face. That's what she said. Now this, I'm just quoting him. <laughs> just quote. <laughs> don't do that, big man. This what the, 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 the what it said. You could have just. You could have just kind of went around the I bush. I don't know how to. I don't even know how oh to reword God. that. I don't even know how to edit that. I ain't the, I ain't the radio. <laughs> Listen. So. Ain't the radio. Yeah, ain't the radio. The radio oh know how to edit stuff God. like that. Oh my God! Big man, finish. So she's it's basically <laughs> <He's> trying to. <laughs> yeah, right. So basically, they wanted to. to, to just, mm-hmm. She just they didn't even want to have sex. He just wanted to see his girl <coughs> get mad to another dude, and he and and he wanted to. She said, "You can, you can." Uh, she said, "You can, you can grab my head, and you know, and, and, but you just can't be too violent with it, you know, because he's gonna be right there." And they gonna kill you. <laughs> I was like, what the f- I'll turn is a big strong muscular nigga too. I said, bitch, you crazy mother. Get that finna be be stuck in a room with you and another nigga. So I hit her up. I said, man, he got So I hit her up. <laughs> <laughs> I, said, nah, I, hit I said, man, oh, hey God. man, he gonna have to just we gonna have to just record it and give him the tape or something. I can't have that nigga in the room with me. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't never hit me back. I told him I had eight inches, but they ain't never hit me I- back. What? Big man. What? My mom uh, doing too much. I, I, meet, I right. meet the requirements. Hey, you, know that. Funny? you know what's funny, bro? And I'm going to be real. I had a similar situation, but I never met up because she was like, oh, but my boyfriend wants to watch and he wants to record. And they had similar specifications and all that. And I was like, all right, whatever. I'm with it. But then when they said, oh, I want to record, I was like, nah. And she was like, <laughs> no, well, can he just be there? And I was like, nah. Well, yeah, that, that's that, that, weird to me. No. I don't want to go like, wrong. Like, I just, like nah. what if you what if you hit him right and then he just get triggered? You know what I'm saying? Like something just twer- triggered to him like that. And he's like, oh, I don't want this no more. I'm going to kill you, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> well, for me, too, it's, it's, it's more of like a privacy thing to where it's like, yo, it could be a couple women in the room. I don't care. But yeah. I don't want no other man in the room. If I'm doing my thing, I'm doing my thing. Yeah. I don't need nobody in there. Man, that's, listen. That's, 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 that's a special place. So out of all of this, though, it, let's say the husband knew. It don't sound like he was able to... To enjoy any of this, whether video or in person, because they was doing it on the on the job. So like he just knew his wife was a freak. He was just, you know, what I'm saying a silent part. Sound like he had one of them. Uh, you remember broke? Uh, no, no. What's that motherfucker with the long black snake mom? I don't remember the details of that. Remember movie. black snake mom? Samuel Jackson Samuel, had the little white yeah, girl, yeah. and she was just super freaking. She couldn't. She couldn't. She was, oh, oh. Yeah. Don't about that thing was just. All the time, just wet, just just dripping. Ooh, <gasps> I need it. 
Oh, God damn it. That was her. <laughs> All the time. Nah, he had nah. to tie up. He said, Black Snake, oh, my God. Tie yeah. you up. Yeah, he had to tie up. Is that what that movie was about? I've never seen yeah. that movie. I watched it. was trying to stop her. Because she had, uh, what you call it? Oh, uh, She was a nympho. Yeah, nympho. I, I had I had me one like that. Nymphomania. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, you can't do those, bro. Yeah. I, 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 I had a nympho before, and... This is how I knew. I was like, I, first I thought she was a freak, and I was like, oh, that's cool. She, hey, she fun. But it got to the point. Man, we was at my mama's house, man. And she, <laughs> is that mine? <laughs> we was at my mama's house, and she had went to the bathroom, and for a longer time, then I was like, what is she in there doing? I'm like, oh, I know what she's doing. She and was I was like, what? she was at my mom's house and she went to the bathroom to go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah bro, right. to, go, to go get herself right. And it happened, too, at the comedy store. And she told I was like, all right, that's a comedy store. But I'm like, how did you get that? That's a public bathroom. Like, how did you? <laughs> and she you was like, you don't happen. know, because I know you're loud. So, yeah. like, what, what? what is this? She was like, nah, just, she pulled it off. But I was like, no, nah, you can't come to my mom's house like, and go to the bathroom and do that. Come on, dog. Like, come on, dog. Man. Help her, man. Come on, dog. No, no, not help, help her. My mom is right there, bro. I'm, hey, my mom is right there. Come on, bro. You, 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 you can't say that to him. Come on, bro. You cannot say that to him. Mama, we got to oh use the bathroom real quick. Hey, 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 let, let me let me write yeah. that. Yeah. that. That's based on the true story. I went all the way. I'm talking about as soon as I come in the house. Hiding ready. You hear me? I hiding ready. She she dripping at the mouth. You know what I'm saying? Like, ooh, I'm like, good God, bitch, you won't stay off a nigga. As soon as I as soon as I recover, I'll be in the ER. As soon as I recover. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I come up, I rise up like the undertaker. What is Boom. As soon as I rise up, she ready. You ready for some more? Mm-mm-mm. Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone. Something wrong with you. You need help. <laughs> you Try need keep you. Your yeah, see, that's why I say. That's why I, this one I learned. That's why I learned that some women need multiple niggas. Yeah. They sex drive yep. too goddamn high for any nigga. It's, it's the if, man. Listen, you gonna drain me of everything. I couldn't even think. I couldn't even think. <laughs> I couldn't think. Cause she just took everything. She was taking my brain power. I said, she know what she doing. This she shit, was trying uh, to keep you from being with somebody else. She, 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 she knew what she was doing. She knew what she was doing. Man, He's, he said, how you talk like that in front of your mom? Just, just like I am. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> they be trying to put the personalized shit. Just cause you can't, you don't do that. Don't mean, uh, li- li- nigga. I am me. She is she. <laughs> we is we. I'm leaving. I'm leaving him. We gonna leave. I'm gonna leave him on this show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> me and my mother. Me and my, listen, man. We done been through some things together. You think little shit like that gonna bother us? We done been. Th- this my dog. This my road dog right here. That what you don't know. Shit. Tell me what we done been through. We done been some things that were big dog. We done been some things that. Were. Shit. We ain't worried about that shit. They talk about what they talk about. <laughs> oh <Hell>, shit! <laughs> <laughs> so Laverne, uh, police officer, Stavis, whatever, sit your country ass down, man. <laughs> Let them folks do what they do at the job. Shit, they probably working hard. They probably some good officers, man. You gotta think about that. Yeah. If you you get some on the job, you ain't gonna be one of them tense officers. Cause you ain't you ain't shooting niggas after you just got some head. Yeah. Man, you, you, ain't, said, you don't shoot nah. motherfuckers after you got some head. Think nah. about them, them folks that, that, that remember last week we were talking about that one officer yeah. ran the family out the road, killed him. Right. Man, think he would have he would have some coochie a couple minutes ago. Right. Shit. He was like, right, what y'all in here doing? Yeah, man, yeah, okay, is. y'all the family. Okay, let me get up out of here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He just needed them some. Have you ever felt threatened after you got some head? Huh? Have you ever felt threatened after yeah, you got you, some Yeah. It's yeah. like, hey, man, hey, listen. What? Listen, I remember one time somebody told a uh, I can't remember what comedian had a bit. He said, "Man, if you catch me while I'm in the middle of that," he said, "You got." He said, "Nigga, you got ten seconds." <laughs> he said, "Nigga, he said, nigga could be breaking in his house while he catching what?" He said, "Nigga, you got ten seconds." <laughs> ten second nut. What? The what? Hell? The- <laughs> 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 Mother, bro. I'm like, wait, what? Ten seconds. I'm, 
Look, man. <laughs> yeah, you got that in fuck with me, but I'll be in that but we're going off. I'll be in that getting electrocuted. <laughs> For 30 seconds? <laughs> huh? For yeah, 30 yeah. Seconds? I'm in that next, going uh, next, next. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. We, okay, okay. Sorry, mama. So, <laughs> Diamond, not from Crime Mob, of course. Not from the Players Club either. Diamond or diamond and silk. Uh them 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 ones uh that was uh on Trump neck. You remember um uh, there was uh, the, 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 the getaway bra. You remember them? Yeah. Diamond and silk what they yeah. call themselves. The raccoons. Yeah. The, yeah. yeah, the there you go. The the raccoons. raccoons. Yeah. So uh Diamond died. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah. They say diamonds are forever, but not her. Oh. Anyway, so uh, Fredo Bang. Um, <laughs> oh, what you saying? Fredo, Fredo. What is you saying, Big Mike? He, got, oh, he went to the next subject. Oh, oh you ain't tell nobody to sit down from diamonds. Oh, the, the wrong subject. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong? Lay your country ass down. Oh, <laughs> she did. Boy, don't down, do man. that. God had to come get you because he knew you down your bullshit. <laughs> 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 Go ahead and come get you. He knew you were down here bullshit. He said, you know what? I'm sick of this bullshit. I'm going to give it a light. I'm going to give it a light. I'm going to give it a light. Tell her break her ass down here. <laughs> Say her her ass, uh, she caught the COVID. She had Damn. it for a good while. I don't even know who we talking about. Like, was she old or what? Man, they was pump on and for, for, for Trump. I know, but was she old? Like, was, was she it was her like time? middle age. I don't know about. Yeah, they, they, they probably old. is in their uh, yeah. oldest fifties, something like that, right now. So she, uh, uh, what she do? She, uh, she caught the COVID, and then she, uh, tried to take the shot after she had the COVID for a while. Yeah, you know what? she went too. At the hospital, she went too small. You know. <laughs> she thought she she thought it was the cure. You know what I'm saying? I'll take it now. <laughs> she believed in the motherfucker at first. Like, I ain't taking that shit. Oh, come on, get it to me real quick. Right, save me. Save me now. <laughs> why, why you got to do my boy Kev like that, man? Kevin Samuels was a good dude, man. He was just telling y'all she was yeah, one yeah. She, she talking about that's how she felt oh, about no, old Kev. Oh, no, man. Kev wouldn't like See, that. See, and that's the one thing is like every... All the women hated Kevin Samuels because he was honest. But they and but, that other dude, the relationship dude who got caught cheating and right. let him down, hey. they all loved him. Yeah. And I'm like, so it's like, yeah. do you Listen, really want the truth? Right. Do you want the truth? Because Kevin y'all gave y'all the truth and y'all hated him. Y'all got this understand. other dude. Y'all worshipped him, and it was right. like, but that wasn't the but truth. Let, he but was let a liar. Y'all understand. Listen, how Kevin uh, Kevin Samuels will speak to his speaking is how niggas think. That's exactly mm. the way. We niggas want to come off yeah, that wanna way. Say niggas want to come out and say it the exact same way. They just niggas just a lot of niggas just scared of y'all. It's rad that you run across niggas like me. Oh, <laughs> there you go. They gonna tell it like oh, it is. Oh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's rad that you gonna run across a nigga that gonna tell it like it is. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and so, you know I get a little flack sometimes, but I, the, most of the time I get respect. <laughs> And the thing that wasn't popularized about him was he used to check niggas too. He ain't tolerate that shit from whole ass niggas either. He used to check niggas too. And those videos didn't go viral. So if y'all would have got to get the whole perspective, he was just trying to set motherfuckers on the right path all around. Yeah, he was just, it, I'm, I'm telling you, he was just really giving you a real male's perspective. See, Steve Harvey sold you that bullshit. Right. You know. No, he you didn't. Shit. Man, Steve. Steve. Don't do that, y'all. Yes, he did. Steve, Steve fucked up so many relationships with that book, boy. With that book, yep. Oh my God, y'all thought y'all really knew us. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> I told the truth. Yeah. He was telling the truth about his damn. Whose truth did he tell? Yeah, he told his, his own. own. Yo, y'all leave Steve alone. <laughs> yeah. Steve, uh, Steve sold y'all the uh, listen. He sold y'all the wrong. He he was trying to. He was he was telling you. Uh, uh, uh. She said, I didn't appreciate how he spoke to men and women, delivery is everything. But that's how niggas really want to talk. Because we straight to the point. We not really, um, men are not really emotion based like that. Like, we, that's why we, when we say things, uh, well, you got a lot of niggas that was raised by their mamas. 
uh, 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 mama only. And when we say things, we just we want to be straight to the point when we say it. We don't care about the little extra. Uh, 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 Everybody ain't like that though, big shit. man. Huh? Everybody shit, ain't like no, that. Man, I'm telling you. Yeah, that's not them just a bunch of just be lying. We don't lying. care about the little the extra truth. shit, man. I'm talking about for the majority of men, we don't care about the little extra shit. We don't, we don't care about the pleasantries. Straight to the point. When you talk, straight to the point. I don't want to hear the extra stuff. You ain't got to give me, uh, 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 oh, well, uh, you, I don't need the extra. All the filler I mean, shit. Yeah, forget the filler. Give me the killer. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Tell him, Mike Larry, smack that like button. You hear me? A la carte, me, bitch. Yeah, I, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> they want you to. They want you to. They want you to sugarcoat the sweetheart. Oh, baby girl, baby doll. Oh, uh, no. Listen, <clears throat> that's why y'all don't understand us worth a damn. You hear me? Cause y'all think we don't. We don't put no sugar on that shit. That that we ain't getting you shit. Huh? Man, go on to the next big man. You tripping tonight. She, I'm telling you, I'm talking that gospel now. <laughs> you don't want to hear it. <laughs> I, 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 that's what, you know, that's what I learned about daddy. He was straight to the point. See, you, 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 you showed you, me you, another you. side. You, 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 Mom, you showed me another side. And I was like, that nigga imbalanced. But that nigga was straight to the point. <laughs> I learned, a, I, I did learn a lot. From uh, pops, I did. I learned a lot from pops. Yeah, crazy. he crazy mother. He he a little too, <laughs> yeah. he a little, he a little too far to the left. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but you a little too far to to the right. You you too damn nice, mama. You too nice. Well, you I get nice. I get my blessings for my niceness. Huh? I'm getting all my blessings. I'm your I blessing. See him. I see him every day. I'm I'm getting your blessing. I sure ain't gonna be acting like your daddy. Yeah, you too nice, daddy. Daddy was a mean. Your daddy was too mean. But you too nice. And I'm the balance, you know what I'm saying? I'm both of them. You ain't gonna run over my black hair. You know what I'm saying? But I'm, but, but, but I'm nice too. You know what I'm saying? So we got to, you got to have that balance. You nice. I'm nice. You got to have that balance. Oh my God. He is. Mark is a nice dude. I'm a nice dude. He's a nice dude. Thank you, brother. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, man. Yeah. Okay, tell him. Tell him. Mark has got nice a good dude. reputation. I, I never had. But a motherfucker ain't go. But but a motherfucker ain't gonna uh, uh, run over uh, uh, no. run over me at all no. either. See what I'm saying? Nah. That's a balance. Nah. I'm Mark is cool. <laughs> He ain't nice. Marcus cool. I ain't never heard nobody talking about they had a problem with Marcus. See what I'm saying? <laughs> See what I'm and saying? in the comedy game, it's a lot of people who got problems. I, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. People yeah. got problems with, they be like, oh, Cam. Man. I'm like, hey, man. Marcus is nice in yeah. a way to where it's like, he's patient with motherfuckers. Yes, sir. Like, Come on now. Come on now. He's patient with you, motherfuckers, and I got man. The, and I'm, I'm going to give you credit for you it. You got that from who? I got that from you. Okay, Dad ain't got no patience. Okay. Dad ain't got no patience. Hit you dead in your motherfucking mouth with the quickness. <laughs> nigga, nigga did it to me. You <laughs> <laughs> shit, boys. Oh, you used to get whoopings, whoopings? What? You, you got, got whoopings, you I got, got hands. Beats. You got hands. Because I, I used to get hands. Oh, I get beats. Yeah, 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 oh, my daddy yeah, knocked hands. me in the tube. No, it was no no belt. People talk about a belt. I'm like, lucky? Yeah, when I got to an age, when I got to an age, oh. when I got to a certain age, it was hands. Yeah, it's hands. Yeah, yeah. That nigga, when that nigga knocked me in the tub, I walked. I got up out of there. Hey, that's hilarious, though. His daddy uh, favored your daddy in Poetic Justice. Oh, he did he really? <laughs> oh, my God. Because that was a character. Bro, I he swear really to God. Like that. I'm just talking about my pops. He did what he had to do. I ain't, ain't like, even talking about how his, his mannerisms. Younger, I'm talking about how he looked. Oh, yeah. He, oh, he looked. Okay. He got oh, hair? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. He, yeah, he yeah. favored I'll the fuck you. out of your daddy in that movie. Yeah, I'll I, I show you what my pop looked like. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, I'll show you. Right. But yeah, no, that that was something you need, as a, especially as a black man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You need a father, yeah, a that's strong, strong personality yeah, to do that. Cause like my, my pops cool as hell. When I was younger, I was like, oh, this nigga mean, but I was like, no, he's not. Yeah, no, he's not. You need shit like that, cause it's like elder. This but you world don't, don't give a fuck about you. Yeah. yeah. So, but see, me and pops used to get along out when I was when I was young. We used to okay. get along well, cause you know I wanted to be like it. Okay. But we didn't want to be like that nigga no more. We, boy, we was back and forth. We, you know what I'm saying, but but you know we we had our good times, and then we'll fall out. You know what I'm saying. Then we have a good time. Then we fall out. You know. But, but, but see that nigga. But that's when I was battling, huh? That nigga was there though. 
What? Uh, yo, pops, he you was see? there. What you mean? His father was. Nigga, I came home from school one day. Nigga, drove oh, he moving he was the, there, moving the Conway with a female. Oh nigga, yeah. yeah. My pop just he he ain't even tell me nothing. Nigga, I yeah. came home from school one day. He was like, "Your mama outside. Pack your shit." I was like, "Damn!" Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, you could have told me yesterday. It was like a Tuesday and, or Wednesday. Or wait, something. he kicked you out? Yeah. He and really your mama kicked me he, out. He was leaving. He wasn't staying there. He ain't well, saying he said your to mama me. outside pack your shit. So yeah, I yeah like my mama was outside to take me to uh her, live with her. Oh, pack the shit. Yeah, yeah bye, like I'm I think I'm going to stay with this bride in Conway. And remember, I was staying in uh in Twin Twin Lakes with y'all. I was yeah. right. I was writing at the same bit. That damn drone was hell. Man. Man. Like <laughs> like at least your pops was there. He probably told right, right. He told the student, Man. Got me a new whore. She's a bad son bitch too. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he talk. Nick talk like Johnny Bravo. <laughs> <laughs> Nick talk like Johnny Bravo. Got Johnny me a whore. Bravo. She's a bad son bitch too. You'll be proud of me, son. But y'all got to get the hell up out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Going to Conway, goddamn it. Man. <laughs> Nick sound like a. Uh, uh, a sheriff, man. Uh, yeah. Deputy, that nigga sound like a deputy <laughs> pulling you over. A motherfucking right. bullwink. He right. always right. remind me of bullwink. Bullwink. That's bull what that nigga mixed with Bernie Mac. If time. you can put them voices together, that's what my daddy sound like. Bullwink will mix with Bernie Mac. That's what te- that nigga tell us all to. <laughs> you get your punk ass up out of here, boy. <laughs> <laughs> get your punk ass up out of here. <laughs> 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 That nigga was a motherfucker, man. (laughs) On everything. That nigga wrong so funny, dog. Man. We used to see the lab at kids, dog, and just Bruh. at that nigga, and just at the nigga voice, because I be in the back imitating, boy. And <laughs> hey, boy, no, he ain't white. This is a nigga, a big <laughs> black nigga. It's a, it's a big, heavy dude. This man. Nigga, a big, thick, tall nigga, three, motherfucker. 364. Yeah. 300, oh. six, four. Six, four. Man, yeah. six, four, Damn. 300 pounds. I would have been mad if I was you. Yeah. I'm really, a motherfucking short as my, my grandma. Uh, she the only person short. My mama's 5'11". Well, you yeah. the baby. Man, my yeah, mama 5'11". Hey. My grandma the only person 5'3". I took out the hook. Yeah. Everybody else yeah. tall. Right Even my big her. sister 5'7". Man. That shit, and bro. I don't left you shad. Man. <laughs> that shit was so goddamn. That nigga was so goddamn <laughs> fun. That nigga. <laughs> y'all back. You need to. You got to write that in your bitch, bro. Man, that you, nigga <laughs> hell. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got to put it came in. came home from school. Oh, you got to put him in that, man. <laughs> you got to grab your bag, son. Get him up out of here. <laughs> 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 Your punk ass. <laughs> oh, he said, he said, you ain't never been able to raise up on your pops. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> shit, no. Nah. Shit, I shit. did one day. Goddamn, got my little chest caved in. Shit, I was like, ooh, I gotta wait till I'm a little big, bigger. I never got bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he never got back. Who the son bitch think you talking to right here? Huh? Son bitch, I kill you dead if you ever. <laughs> son bitch, son I, bitch kill I kill your graveyard dead. dead. <laughs> you ain't big man. You ain't gonna try me like him. He tried his goddamn daddy. I ain't gonna play with your punk nah, ass. Nah, this, this I'll bury him, son bitch. This is what he said. He said, that, that motherfucking big man, I'm gonna tell you something. Marcus a kill that motherfucker. He better stop playing with that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Marcus, Marcus a kill that son bitch. <laughs> he, he better stop playing with that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, daddy, daddy, daddy was a motherfucker back in the day, boy. Right. All right, okay. Them so, so, oh, Frito Bang uh, was allegedly. It's so funny to me. Having threesomes with a married lesbian couple and ended up getting both of them pregnant. The couple made it seem like they was doing the, the, the you know, the shit that was the IVF, what's it called? The, uh, oh, in vitro, uh, some, I can't when they, never when they, say when they, it. When they, when they put the, yeah. the, the nut in them. Mm-hmm. But they were sleeping with brother the whole time. Nigga, that's some funny shit. This is a whole lesbian couple that's on the internet like, oh yeah, we, we, you know, happy. You know. They did in we, vitro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We happy, dick free over here. At- <laughs> oh, dick free. <laughs> <laughs> we have a plant based relationship. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no meat over here. <laughs> Hey, and the one really looked like a stud, though. Man, this nigga was in the stud <laughs> and the cat. Bro, it wasn't stud. Bro, that is so hey. funny, dog. Hey, he going over there like, yeah, we, 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 we
like y'all ready? Right. The other one like, yeah, let me put my deal though up real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. Let me put my dick. Oh, oh nigga, that is hilarious, dog. He done got her pregnant. That's crazy, dog. <sighs> now it wasn't two studs. The other one, she was decent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other one was straight. Yeah. It's RSGO so flawless. Sent ten dollars. Said y'all look like somebody more for player rangers. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, you got oh, it. That's it. And that motherfucker ain't really no stud, right, though. Right, right. right. She can still the, get it. The picture I seen. Yo, she can still good. She, she like she thug. just been stressed out a little bit. The one with the short hair, yeah, right? I think That's it was the stuff. Yeah. yeah, it was. I, I think, think it was the stuff. outfit I seen. There. Yeah, she looked like a chick right there. Yeah, no, nah, she got her nails done okay. and everything. Frito bang bang studs. <laughs> she looked feminine. I mean, besides the haircut, yeah. But yeah. That's like you know, Frito bang bang bang. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like pops. You hear me? Frito bang bang bang. Yes, that is hilarious, dog. Man. Hey, I need to find me a nice little lesbian couple to settle down with. <laughs> that would be nice. That would be nice. That would do what I did. Because you ain't got to worry about them. They don't really want meat like that. No, nah, they don't. So they get one supply of meat. Then you ain't got to worry about them doing other shit. I can just do what I want to. Right. right. I got to, you know, they can worry about each other right here. Right, right. That's beautiful. Oh, let, let them That's perfection. Get let them do their wrestling. Yeah, y'all can you know. do y'all wrestling, y'all tongue wrestling and tussling. And yeah. Marcus, what about the love and the That's companionship? The That's I what I'm talking like, about. Oh, no. We're not gonna get that. Well, they can they can have the they can have all the look. Oh, they thick too. Yeah. Oh, they both up oh, yeah. thick. They, they are thick. Oh, that was the pitch I seen. I was like, oh, she was a stud. stud. No, she wasn't. That ain't no <laughs> that still ain't no stud. Stud. <laughs> that motherfucker thick. Boy, look. No, put that oven up. Put that oven up so they can see that oven. Yeah. Ooh, look at them. <laughs> Look at her, look at that ass back there. You talking about stud, stud, shit. <laughs> that's bud, bud. Boy, that ass right there, boy. Ooh. Look at Yo. Yo. Yo, yo, yo. Yeah, that's how I want it. <laughs> she said, I thought that's what Polly is most of the time. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's how I want when, it. That's, when you get lucky, that's what it is. That, that nigga, that nigga got they, blessed. They say he look like a stud himself. He definitely do, though. Yeah. <laughs> That nigga got blessed. You hear me? Yeah. That nigga got blessed. You say that that came from the Lord. That came from the that nigga prayed up. Let me let me let me change my prayers. <laughs> change my prayers. Lord, please find me a nice lesbian couple. That's beautiful, both of them. That love each other so much that I'm just extra. <laughs> you say beautiful or bootyful? Beautiful and beautiful. <laughs> I'm just extra. Don't do that, big man. But they like this extra so much. It's just like you can't go without this extra. You know, like a mother who like like somebody who like barbecue sauce on their sandwich, and they just can't have the sandwich without barbecue sauce. Let me be their barbecue sauce, Lord. Is them his she first kids? Right huh? Nah, that's Fredo. That's a, that's a dude. Yeah, yeah that, that, is that is a man. Yeah, yeah that's him. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so, oh, that oh that might be a stud. Yeah. <laughs> I, I wonder if them dude. his first kids. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. She, but uh, listen. Thank you, Lord, in advance. Okay, so, so who got to sit their ass down on this one? <laughs> huh? Who got to sit their ass down on this one? To, to the couple. Uh, sit your country ass down, man. Over here. Right here. <laughs> I, I'll take you. <laughs> if y'all are looking for another brother, you know what I'm saying. Whenever he on tour, he can't show up for his sir his yeah. duties. <laughs> Whenever Frito done banking, he <laughs> 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 All right, he said the poor kid is gonna be confused. No, they ain't. Frito <laughs> gonna pop up. He said Sid Marcus a stud. Lord. He gonna pop up as a, a friend of the family. <laughs> Look, KG is super hater. Sid Marcus a stud, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga's a professional hater. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Mariah Carey uh, is reportedly seeking primary custody of the twins after ex husband Nick Cannon welcomes 12th baby. She tired of that nigga shit. She hating. She tired of this shit. Mariah. She hating. Huh? I, why, why? Like, for what? She hating. She said she want primary custody. For what? What's if, she going to do with him? If you didn't like have Mariah got time. Place, like, Mariah reason. got a whole bunch of time. You know, mm. Mariah. Look, I mean, I can understand her because it's, it's, at this point, this nigga got too many kids. It's like, shit. God damn, boy. You, you, give my babies back because you, you over there, bullshit. You don't even know what you're doing over there, boy. Give my babies back. That's what Mariah said. She's being saying. a hater. I, I understand. Man. 
She's oh, being a hater. Nigga, like, I gave you your first kids, right? The Mariah nigga, was his first. But the nigga and then got she too was much. Like, yeah. He's doing too much. He even said himself he don't know what the hell he's doing. <laughs> yeah, and the nigga ain't got no direction. He's just doing shit. Get, get your stupid ass over there before you put my, my babies in some. He got in, direction. Huh? He going in the right He got direction. erection. He ain't got direction. I feel Mariah. Cause cause I feel Mariah. Get, get, Give me man, my baby, look, nigga. that was a conversation. You ain't got to pull the man out in court. That was a conversation. Hey, what? if your hands is too full, I got the girls or the twins, whatever they is. I got them. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to stress about them. When you want to come get them, when you want to see them, do your thing. If I need extra support, shit, I already got an unlimited credit card from you. You good. You know what I'm he saying? Like, you ain't got to take him. She don't got to court. She, she got the most no, money. Yeah, she well, got more money than Nick, is. bro. What are you talking yes, about? Yeah, no, she's straight. She don't need no child support. But, I'm saying, but my well, thing is. I don't think she wrong because at the end of the day, them her babies. Yeah. And, but and how, you just, watching your, you watching your uh, ex-significant other self-sabotage. Because what is he doing? He already said he don't know what he's doing. So, what what so how many kids does Mariah have before Nick? Or is that the? Um, is that I think it? them her own kids. Okay, that's it. Yeah, I think they're okay. Her, I think, well, I, I, she been in a lot of damn marriages for them to be her. She own has kids. though. I'm like, she's been married. To us like, she probably killing him. She probably <laughs> killing him. Damn, mama. <laughs> mm-hmm. What you got? What you saying? I'm just saying. Like, I'm like, I don't know. I don't know if Mariah is too fit to be. Nick is sober, right? From what I know, Nick don't do nothing. Mariah is. She likes to pop pills. She likes to drink. Do she? And that's cool. Yeah. Oh, I don't know about that. Yeah. Man, yeah, you telling well, my, me something Well, my new. thing is. Yeah. Why, so why it's she, like. Why is she tripping them? Because he ain't got time for them. No, they ain't. Look how them kids he got. How he got much time for them kids? That's why she I, want, I feel like she don't have she, to go to court for that, though. Yeah. But she's got a like billionaire you, husband, and she has a reputation for not being always sober. So it's like. Mm. Are you fit to hold the kids? I'm, the, I'm just. I'm playing devil advocate to where it's like. Come on, Mariah. Listen, at the end of the day, he they say as long as he can afford to take care of him, he's not doing too much. That's go. not that's not true. Finances ain't the only thing, man. Y'all got to stop doing that. We got to stop. A father in your life, man. If you're a terrible father, it's the same as being. It's sometimes worse as being an absent father. Hmm. You know what I mean? We got we got to stop. We got to stop putting that out there. We, we just watched a, a video that said. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Didn't Mariah have Eminem chained up in the basement on pills? Damn. I mean, uh, you know, uh, 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 hey, according to him, hey, hey, you could do your own research, but it's like from what I heard about Mariah, I'm like, I don't know if she's fit to be a mother. And it's like you had this whole time. Now you want to be a mama. That was the first kids. So now you want to pull up. It sounds like jealousy and not like you really care. Yeah. And it's like, if you really want to take care of kids, it should never come from a place of jealousy or I'm trying to get back at somebody. It should be because you genuinely want to do it, not because you're like salty. So you're like, oh, you know what? Give me my kids back. Like it's a car or some property. Like those are people. Because so, I, I don't see it being no issue if she would have been spending more time with them. But she you don't. Know what I'm saying like you're, you're, you're trying to go in front of the courts. So that you can put the police in this man life if he trying to pull up and see his kids or something. That's the only reason you go to court because y'all saying I'm pretty sure, ain't but, issue. but I'm saying I'm pretty sure they do everything business wise. Like like they they you got to think about who you talking about. You talking about Mariah Carey and Nick Cannon. I'm pretty sure they don't do nothing under the table. That's that's just that's just probably how they move. You know what I mean? They probably do everything on paperwork just to protect themselves. They're bill- She's a billionaire, dog. But you're talking about full custody as if you don't want this man having access to him. The, no, that's primary custody is not full custody. Okay, so primary is... In Appreciate your RSG oh so, oh so flawless. It came, it came on to the subscription. Huh? Primary is insinuating that you want this man to have less time. And I don't think you have to go in court for that to be a thing. What? Well, Primary is assuming that she's going to be spending more but, time with but, them. But listen, dog, if you are a billionaire, right, and y'all and y'all do everything according to paperwork, she don't want no issues. She wants to be understood. Okay, if I won't, I'm, I'm going to have the kids for it because she because he at, at any given moment, if he has already has primary custody at any given moment, he can be like, hey, give me my kids back. <clears throat> he can tell her, look, 
right, all right. We, we, I'm gonna let you do this for a few months. I want my kids back. And you saying he don't deserve that right because he got too many? I mean, bro, if she want primary custody of her kids, let her, let her get primary custody of her kids. If she able to take care of. Them. Obviously, he has uh, twelve. He can't focus primarily on them, so they're gonna. They're gonna. Uh, uh, he's probably gonna neglect them in certain ways. He, he 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 can't. You can't. You can't balance yourself amongst twelve different children like that. You can't give them. You can't properly ad- adult twelve children by yourself, dog. I think we need more research on this. I don't feel like we got enough facts. Nah, I I, I got to take with Marcus on this one. You can't be there for every kid, especially if they're all around the same age. Man. Like you need to be. You can't. It's impossible, especially when you're like doing a lot of things too, and you got a job to where it's like you got ten jobs, and you're trying to be and you're in an there and be. On top of that. That's what I'm saying. So it's like, how are you going to really be there and have certain talks and and you you can't even really pay full attention to all your kids if you got twelve kids to really figure out how they're growing up, what they're growing up like, what are they saying. I don't know. We and, say and, and how to correct it. Care you know what I mean? She and how to guide them. No, she and probably them gave the right them the way. choice. She probably gave him the choice, like, okay, Nick, you know, you want to have the babies. You know, I'm a busy woman. We, you a busy man, but you you seem to be less busy, less busy than me. You know what I'm saying? Because obviously she was a lot busier at the moment, and she's probably didn't slowed down. And he's probably didn't picked up and become, became more busy. This shit changed. Time is, is is that was years ago. When, when, I'm sure when she when they got the uh, uh when, when she got custody of kids. I mean, he got custody of kids. So who you sitting down on this one? So right now he got full custody. No, no. I think it's it's probably it's joint split. Joint. Nick Cannon, sit your country ass down, man, and stop putting all these goddamn kids. You twelve? Calm your little country ass down, man. It just took, the woman just told you based upon statistics, right? That the women. What was the statistic that uh, uh, Chad? The statistic is that a child ba- uh, raised in a mother, uh, a double, a uh, dual parent household is likely to succeed just as much as a child raised solely by the father. Mm-hmm. Okay. So the kids mm-hmm. that that Nick Cannon is just releasing, in, in, most of the mom- mamas are raising them kids. Hmm. So what's going on with that? He he leaving us out. He he he's setting us up for some fucked up kids. Hmm. According to those statistics. Yeah. Tony Cry, I've had full custody. My son since he was two years old. He'll be 13 in a week. Super single day of life. Salute to you, Tony Crane, for that. See what I'm saying? Make it make sense now. Do something right now. Like I said, I ain't got enough information on the subject. I don't know. Well, based upon the information you've been given. <laughs> yeah. That nigga tripping. <laughs> well, shit, he definitely I, tripping with 12 of them. Yeah, he shit. tripping with 12. <laughs> but, I, but, I, but, 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 my underst- but my thing is I understand where Mariah coming from. And it makes sense. Look, look, give me my babies. Because what you doing? So, I, I, so based off of the statistic we were just talking about, are you... Um, under the impression that the new husband that she has is gonna step in and be that father figure that these kids need. I mean, it's, it's, I'm pretty sure he is. He's married to her. the mm. billionaire white boy. Yeah, he's married to him. Come on, I didn't even know she was still married to him. I thought. Think, they think about out. the other household before you just you know what I mean. Like, and Nick does have a lot of kids, but like, really think about Mariah's house mm. and that household and Mariah's state of mind and how she is every I, day. I don't is know. she present? Yeah, see, you introduced something new to me. So it's like, but that's what I'm shit. saying. So it's like, yeah, it's like. Salute, you know. bro. I got four kids I have full custody of, and I definitely feel you on the bullshit. Four kids is enough. You can, I can, I can probably raise four children. Hmm. I would probably stop right there. Four, as, as far as me, as, an, as, a, as a male, raising them on my own, I could, I could probably raise four children. And 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 and, and I, I don't know if they could be it could be back to back, you know what I'm saying? But shit, you gonna hope they back to back. Them motherfucking gaps is yeah, is hell. 
You got to think about them 18 years. My my baby mama ain't going to be kid free in her household till she like 50. He said, you can't relate, Mark. Because most single parent mothers got kids. And I, we just covered that. Baby mama old? No, nah, she 36. We just covered that. Billy, oh, keep up, man. You ain't paying attention, dog. She, she just she got a newborn right now. So we don't know if she had like 36. Oh, what's, yeah. what's 18 and yeah. 36? It's about 52. Yeah. yeah. She going to be 52 before her yeah. youngest is uh 18. 52. Yeah. But I don't think I, I don't think anybody can uh probably raise twelve kids ch- twelve children by themselves. Yeah. Oh shit. God damn it. Oh so coming yeah. through. Oh, oh so lovely. Appreciate you for the fifty, big dog. <laughs> Same full cousin, two years old. And Moses. Yeah, yeah. Oh we got oh we got sound effects yeah, for you today, baby. Well, Same full cousin. <laughs> two years old. She's five now, but they love to paint that narrative of men don't care about their kids. They try to paint that same for Nick, but he's the only uh, rich black man left they can't pin any negativity to. Hmm. In, in respect, I, 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 I feel that. I feel that. But that nigga just, he, he got to get some structure. <laughs> he got too much structure in his life for him not to have structure with, 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 with raising children. Because he said it himself. He said it himself. No, because it was like, do you have a per? It was somebody that interviewed him on uh, uh, on a news site. It was like, what? What? what was, do you have a plan or a purpose? Or do you, or were you uh, constantly making kids? He's like, come on, man. You think I do, got a real plan with this shit? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So he just, we we can't. We, look, we can't keep making excuses for. Maybe he just blowing smoke though. Maybe he got a real plan. He trying to start his own his love. Plan is keep. I'm going, going based based wrong. on what he said. What, 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 what's the motherfucker? The Wayans. Maybe he trying to do his own little Wayans thing. He trying to start his own little Wayans family or something. Okay. His plan we'll is s- to never use a condom. That's yeah. <laughs> <That's his plan. laughs> That's his plan. Nick got his car seat pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know, hey man, shit. You know, he, he, he said, y'all please keep my family in your prayers. My stepfather passed. He was fully vaccinated. He died from COVID and pneumonia. Hurt so bad because he loved to live. All right, man. Y'all keep y'all put uh, Virgin Hair in your prayers. Y'all put your real name, Virgin Hair, so we'll know uh, who to tell God. Uh, you stupid. Don't be putting his name up. <laughs> You ain't got to have a real name. She don't want to God, uh, Virgin Hell. He's what? stupid. You should have seen where he was going with that. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I don't pray. Don't touch it to him. Pray to you, Virgin Hell. <laughs> We're praying for you. All right. Um, a woman, Katrina Bookman, who oh, won baby. $43 million at the Resorts World Casino in Jamaica. <laughs> Was offered a steak dinner instead of her winnings by casino. She hit what would have been the largest slot machine jackpot in U.S. history: forty-two million nine hundred forty-nine thousand six hundred seventy-two dollars. On a slot. On a slot. On a slot. The New York State Gaming Commission said Bookman's machine had manufactured and she malfunction. Malfunction. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, cub. <laughs> they wouldn't even pay no attention to it. Uh, <laughs> get that, roll that chat down. Uh, 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 it, 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 it malfunctioned, and <sighs> she actually won two dollars and twenty five cents. <laughs> what? Virgin Hair, he loves your show. Oh man, prayers with you though, uh, Virgin Hair. Seriously, mm. two dollars and twenty five cent. As a gesture of goodwill, the casino offered Bookman a complimentary steak dinner. It will probably be some furniture moving in that motherfucker. Nah, see, see, my whole thing is how do you, how do you, how, how is it malfunction like that, Bruh. And if it does malfunction, because I read that they could at least gave her the maximum jackpot, which was sixty five hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. At least, I mean, what do you want? A steak dinner at sixty five hundred, right? right. Yeah, y'all, y'all supposed to break me. You feel out. me? First of all, wow, they settled out of court. But they ain't say for how much. They ain't say how much. 
but let me say this. Yes, yeah, yeah, she black, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. black woman. No, she black. <laughs> they ain't want a nigga to have that much money. First of all, man. <laughs> <laughs> They, 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 you know, the only time that shit happen is, is when it's a nigga. Y'all already know that. <clears throat> now, uh, <clears throat> first of all, I would have, first thing I would have been like, okay, I'm suing y'all last. Man. Y'all would have been the first first thing. <clears throat> oh, y'all want to play with me? I can't battle with all you niggas in here right now. Right. I'm suing your ass. Man. Now, if I would have went to court and things didn't go how I would have liked them to go. Like Mr. Big said, y'all gonna have to kill me in this motherfucking courtroom. <laughs> there will be no more casino. Cause I'm gonna tear that bit down. I'm gonna tear that bit down, man. Man, listen, I wouldn't even want to gamble in that place. I wouldn't want to gamble ever again. Look, this is what her lawyer I'm said. I'm talking about me as a person. Yeah. Me, you no, know, me personally. Right. Whatever name of that casino. Ever it, was, it was in Jamaica or something, wasn't it? Well, I think we yeah. said the New New York Gaming Commission. Uh, that, that was who New York uh, State Gaming Commission. Was that's who got involved, but she was in like Jamaica. Or something. Okay, yeah, but it said, but it, yeah, it was. I didn't know if it was talking about Jamaica, uh, as as in like like Jamaica Queens. Uh, yeah, I, I, that's I, a good I don't point. know. Uh, but let me tell you something. <clears throat> um, whatever they whatever this spot is, they they used to uh 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 they should have they um. Reputation should be destroyed. Yeah, for sure. Reputation should be destroyed. They should not be able. No, man, that's that should be put out everywhere. Right. How they robbed that woman. Man, well, they say the machines only uh, uh, the most that you can win in is sixty five hundred. <clears throat> well, that, uh, what that was that? Was, that was the advertised that's jackpot advertised, on the machine yeah, or something. The machine. That's the most you can get off of it. Hmm. I mean, regardless of it, this is what the woman said, though, Mama. She said when the when the numbers rolled across the screen, only thing she could think of was her family. She knew her life was set. She knew that she was straight forever. You know what I'm saying? You sitting at that machine and you see them type of numbers come across there. That woman could have had a whole heart attack and died. Yes. That, that Did she eat the steak? I want to eat that. Hell no! I would have knocked all that shit off the table. And then, right. hey, Fuck y'all hey, in the steak. You, you, you say what? You, what you say? She 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 imagined her family having that money. She that was she was envisioning. She said all she could think about was her family. Hey, they, they, that casino told her. Hey, look at me. If you if you taste my cold bread, you better get the taste out your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> if you think about taste my goddamn cold, bro, you make it taste like the mouth. <laughs> hey, <laughs> we don't care nothing about what you was thinking about, bitch. We don't care what you envision. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> wrong man, it was foul. And and the lawyer made the best point ever. And I I hope this is what got her some money in court. The lawyer said, well, if the machine malfunctioned, how many people sat there before her and played this game and should have won since the machine was malfunctioning? Right. And if the machine is malfunctioning, uh, was there ever a chance of her winning anyways? Right. So, exactly. you know what I'm saying? So y'all, they was playing a raw game anyway. Cause if y'all need to have these machines service, that's not on the customers. Uh, that's not on the customer. Right. And it's even worse because now, mm. now what y'all are putting out there is that there's a chance that these machines is malfunctioning and you ain't even got no chance to win. Y'all ain't putting that information out there. I already got a low, uh, a very low chance that you gonna win. Right. And you mean to tell me I can still get win? I mean, I can still win and still lose? Damn. Mm. That's some cold shit. Man. I wouldn't never, I don't even know why people play them damn slots. Because you have a chance of thinking that you go win 42 million. Yeah. <laughs> and nigga, what type of malfunction is that? Why would it, why would the machine say 42 million? Right. That's what type what of saying. malfunction is that? It's like if you could only get sixty five hundred, you should right. only have 
Yeah. So four yeah. four yeah. slots. Right. right. Man, listen. That motherfucker four. popped up forty two million. Let me make sure I, I, I put their name out there to y'all. Uh for y'all. Uh 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 what's the name of that? Um World uh Resorts World Casino in Jamaica. Sit your country ass down, man. We ain't gambling at your spot no more. They should ban their ass. Shut them down. Shut them down. Yeah, like Save Witt said, how many times did people lose that should have won if it was malfunction? They need to shut Y'all them down. Y'all was the motherfuckers. See, that's how you look at it. Listen, you know what I'm saying? That should be the result. Yep. Yeah. That should be the result. If I was a judge, I'd be like, look here. Appreciate you for the five dollars, WDMA Warrior. If I was, if if I was a judge, I'd say, look here. It's gonna be one of the two things. Y'all can get this woman this money. Appreciate you, Nathan, your uh, Nelson for the five dollars. On cash out, I say, look, it's one of two things can happen right now. Y'all can get this woman her money, or you can shut your uh, whole casino down. Hmm. Or what you gonna do? Yeah, they was gonna shut it down if they had to give up forty three. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, no, they make no, that shit they they make in the week. Based on how big it is. I bet well, they you said make it's that a, it's a, a casino resort. in 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 Jamaica though, so they might not have no forty two million. But I don't know. Oh, they they, they gonna survive. Goddamn it. Hey, listen. Mm. They, 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 yeah, they, they listen. They make that in a week. I, I, I promise you. They, way they rob motherfuckers. All they got to do is set the machines up to where they get their money first. You got to think about that. Think about if you ran a casino, dog, and you wanted to make a certain amount of money. I can make this certain amount of money before I get back. Right. All I do is rig my machines to. You don't pay nothing. Don't pay nothing now, but a little bit here and a little bit there until I make uh, forty-two million back. You could, yeah. You, I mean, you could. You yeah. robbing folks anyway. I right. mean, why, I don't know why you don't, why you won't just pay that little forty two. Right. Oh, they ain't nothing. Don't worry about. It. We get that right back. And then when they when they invented the slot machines, what's up, Lejay? You only had so many uh, tumblers when they before they went electric electronic. Yeah. It was yeah. only so many tumblers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it was like. Uh, you your eyes was like out of a thousand or something. Yeah. Once they added that fifth tumbler, you know those eyes went up. Once they added the sixth tumbler, those eyes went up. Now it's electronic, so now it's like a one in a million chance right. of right. you hidden. You know what I'm saying? So if a person sit there and they steady feeding that thing and they see that ding 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 come across, man, pay them folks. One yeah. in a million? You telling me a million motherfuckers that y'all done ran through a million people, million turns? Y'all going through a million turns of making money? And it's people right. putting fifties, right. hundreds, not to imagine all the other slots in that mug. That's, a million turns yeah. before that motherfucker is paying somebody. That's a cold game, dog. That, that's a cold game. So y'all got forty two. Y'all got well over forty two. That was a case where. SW engineer sent code to his family of lottery days to play and got caught. Damn. Damn. Ooh. See, uh, yeah, that's some cold shit though right there, man. Yeah, I hope they ragged ass don't never, ooh. Uh, Resorts World Casino in Jamaica, I hope you don't make another dollar. You ragged it. In profit. I hope you don't never make a dollar in profit. Right, what, what they uh, what, what she say on color purple? Until you do right by me, until you do right by black folks. Because <laughs> you did that because you were black, exactly. and you felt like you can get away with it. Right, that's what they did on that thing. Because white would because well, they settled. Them white folks would have took their ass to the man. They would have took that motherfucker to the highest quarter. I'm of the telling land. you. Uh, they probably the white folks would have took it to the nigga was like, Supreme hey, soon they know they know niggas go negotiate. Right. How much you say? Ten thousand, <laughs> quarter million. Shit, I ain't gonna get nothing. Ever gonna get the quarter million? Damn. Okay. All right. I it's in that New York. Steve Kelly said it should be a law or something to decide on what happens when a machine malfunctions, and it should. It should yeah. be some to where it's like it's a mandatory amount you gotta pay or whatever. But it's gotta be something to where it's like a steak dinner. Like you well, let y'all, the casinos y'all keep deserve winning. Like, to be sued as soon as y'all say the machine malfunction, because that means y'all been beating folks that lost. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. ain't no telling who was all That's supposed a bad machine. to win. You know yeah. what I'm saying? This y'all should have unplugged this motherfucker if, it's, if hey, it ain't hey, working. If I gambled up there, I'd be calling their ass. Look, hey, yeah, I ma- gambled up there recently. 
Oh, uh, that must be my money right there. She done won right, right there. Right. Got Malfunction. The- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> y'all, what they say? Y'all better wear that bulletproof vest out. They low. <laughs> <laughs> you ragged it. <laughs> <laughs> Fat mother. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. Next section, man. Uh, country foods on breaking news. Uh, a mother signs her autistic son up for a program to become comfortable around police. It's a black woman. Mm-hmm. At pickup, she found her son on the ground handcuffed with a concussion. What the fuck? He was playing tennis with the police. Got frustrated because he lost or something like that. Officer hollered at him. He started to walk away from her. She grabbed him. And they don't know what happened after that. But she saw multiple, like, four to five police officers on him restraining one on each leg, uh, one holding his head down. You know how they do. They claim her son headbutted in the office. Mm. He went to, he had to go to the hospital. Man, listen. When is y'all going to understand? Them folk don't give a damn about your black ass, man. You can't make them great people. You can't. You can't make them. For, you can't force that. Oh, if I be nice to them, they going to be nice to me. Fuck that. They don't believe that shit. They look at your black ass and say, you are inferior. You are less than me. Them motherfuckers ain't your friend, man. Get me? They don't give a... Them them white boys in them uniform, they was raised by racists. Get me? That's... Most of the time, most of them motherfuckers, that's the reason why they go into the damn, uh, uh, what you call it? The, uh... Law enforcement. Law enforcement. That's the that's they whole reason to go. Oh, I can get away with doing something to a nigga. You can't stop the rain. <laughs> what, is he comfortable around him now? Right. <laughs> now, you done traumatized the shit out of him now. Yes, sir. If he all he was autistic before, he is boy, he autistic times two now. Big man. He PTSD and everything. You done ruined the boy. You can't negotiate with terrorists. <laughs> At all. What is wrong with you? Y'all ain't figured this shit out yet. Good Lord. My, my people, I just, I don't understand you. Why is this, why do you want so hard so, to be on the side of uh, the wicked? They wicked. It's just ingrained in them. Huh? That's that, you know what? I like that, what you just said. That's what it's like. I don't know if that was a true story or not, but that's what it like. That's like saying, you know what? I won't go to the zoo. I want my son. I don't want. I don't like the lions in here. The uh, to, to to to. I don't want the lions to ever attack my son. I'm gonna go ahead and put my son in this lion cage real quick so he can get familiar with these lions. <laughs> so these lions can, you know, he can grow up and he can just come in here and just talk to the lions. And the lions can protect him. You was a lion ass nigga. You think that's gonna happen? What's wrong with you? Mm. That lion gonna tear your baby ass up. Just like them police tore your baby ass up. Them motherfuckers some lions too. Some lion ass motherfuckers. Yeah, she need a seat for that one. Oh my Damn. God. She should have been on a Oh yeah. Now. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> we gonna bring it back to her. Country views on breaking news ain't started yet. <laughs> Do something for me real quick, eh? Sit your country ass down, man. 
You spit that shit. My man, Marcus Luther King right here. <laughs> yeah, he said, oh, Marcus X. Oh, shit. <laughs> I was like, hey. But <laughs> they did. <laughs> that's crazy, man. That, 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 you know what that's like? That's like somebody like, you know what? I'm the girl. She How old was he? How old was he? Uh, I think he was. Oh, 11, 8, somewhere there. Was, oh, shut up, big man. You don't know. It was a range right there. <laughs> <laughs> it was in that range. It was in the range. <laughs> you know what? That's like, that's like somebody <laughs> saying, you know what? Marcus Luther King. I won't. That's like, that's like I'm a, you know what? I'm going to take my look, my daughter. She's she 15 years old. I want to get her familiar with R. Kelly. I'm going to take her to go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm going to take her to go live with R. Kelly for a few days so she can just kind of get acquainted with right, him so R. Kelly right. won't mess with her yeah. when he get older. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the hell is wrong with you? Oh, God. Oh, shit. Dwayne Bowser, <laughs> thank you for the 9.99. Appreciate you, Dwayne Bowser. Y'all let's get these likes up now. Come on, y'all. I know oh, y'all, yeah. I know y'all liking this. Yeah, y'all come on now. With them likes. Kid. Y'all know y'all liking this. Put them <laughs> likes on it. It's a, it's a click of a button. Yeah, oh, man, that's it, that's it, man. That's it, that's it. Now, country views on breaking news is finna start. <laughs> <laughs> now, 23-year-old uh, by the name of Jonathan Welch went to jail for kidnapping, abusing. Oh, this story is so crazy. Kidnapping, abusing, and sexually assaulting his baby mama with a metal pole. Damn. What? It's just starting. Now, he went to jail, y'all, for all that. This is what he did to his baby mama. Two days later. Now, hold on, hold on. Excuse me. He went to jail. They gave him a bond of 100000 His mama bonded him out. With all those charges, his mama bonded him out. Now, put her on the city country down. Now, Two days later, his ex girlfriend, I think her name was Zalea or something like that, Frazier, was dead. He barricaded himself in his mama house, shot at the police, and then he set the house on fire. God damn. In his mama house. In his mama house. Is it mama all right? This what, this, he also killed the mama. See? God damn. She, she didn't hear God about that by going to get him. He, he stabbed the mama to death. He dev, she definitely didn't hear him. And he killed the daddy. What the fuck? Nigga killed his daddy and his mama. And the baby mama. This nigga was broken. That coochie had him crazy. That nigga wanted any, any, every parent he met. Now... This is why I don't care for people who do fuck shit. If you fucked up mentally, you, like you did some shit like that to your baby mom in the first place, leave his black ass. He's supposed to be going get him. He black too. Leave his black ass in there. He has some mental issues for real. Cause this nigga's a terrorist, obviously. We don't claim him. We don't claim him. <clears throat> He's a terrorist. The minute she bonded that boy. I, and she know he two days later. Appreciate the M Dub five nine for the five five dollars. And the sister of the, the baby mama, she said she was so she was so mad. Oh, she was pissed about it. She said she done bonded this man now, and I done lost my sister because she done bonded this man on a on a hundred thousand dollars. She said first of all, the bill should have been higher than a hundred thousand because you know you only pay ten. Ten, on that. 10 yeah. And then she gonna. Man, come on now. Come on now. We, we got to stop. We got to stop. I don't care if it's your family. You got to stop caping for it. Caping for stupidity. folks. It's stupidity too because it's like, even if it is your son, you raise him. That's your son. You know him. You know this motherfucker. You know him. So it's like, you you, you going to bail him out? You letting this motherfucker Tasmania devil unleash on the streets again? Bro. After he just got to... Man, come on now. 
Now he 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 got nineteen charges of he facing now and no bond of course. Yeah, no, and uh, no uh, uh, um, a first degree murder and shit, you know. But man, listen, I don't, I ain't capable. I don't capable. I don't, I'm a moral person. The right is right, wrong, wrong is wrong for me. You know what I'm saying? Now I only cape for you so much, you know, based upon because we always all gonna be biased to a certain extent, nigga. But I ain't caping for nobody. That's obviously I learned my lesson. I learned my. I'm gonna tell y'all a story. I had a nigga that I grew up with. I thought this was my homeboy. This how I learned my lesson. Thought this was my partner right here. What you really talk about, big man? Now he was out there wilding out, popping bars, cutting up. Robbing niggas, he putting straps on niggas. Pose be, you know what I'm saying? He he robbing plugs. He robbing niggas. That's, you know, these be pose be. He he grew up with these niggas. I'm like, man, this nigga ain't gonna do that shit to me though. You know what I'm saying? See, this nigga he went down. He think he went down. Play with me like that. You know I, I ain't the one. You know, I'm like see. Cause I see him all the time. You know what I'm saying? I'm around him all the time. I'm like shit, man. That's Target. I'm like shit, man. I ain't, I ain't worried about it. Y'all that's like, man, be careful around that nigga, man. That nigga, that nigga tripping right now. He going through it. He, oh man, that's what he do to y'all niggas. I ain't that nigga. He ain't gonna play with me. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling bad ass. <laughs> That's some cocky shit. Some cocky shit. <laughs> I'm at the house one night. It's about three in the morning. I heard tapping my window. Damn. What's up? Shit. What's up? Hey man, man, I, man, I fuck around. I done got some shit, man. Woo, woo. Man, my, my, my goddamn uh um. Man, I need, woo, uh, what do you say? My, I got to some shit, man. I need to charge my phone up, man. I got to get up, you know, woo, 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 woo. I'm like, man, what? All right, man. All right, man. Fuck it. I'm discombobulated. Come in now. He say, come to the come to the kitchen. He say, hey, man. Man, them, them pills you had earlier, man, you know. Man, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get the rest of them. Cause you started off, you were talking about shooting dice. I ain't even thinking. I'm, 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 I'm discombobulated. I just woke up. I'm not even thinking straight, really. Let like, me shoot some dice. I said, man, shoot dice, nigga. I'm in the bed sleep. What the fuck is you talking about? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. You, you right, you right, you right. But let me. You, you had the pill early. Let me, let me get some pill. I said, all right, man. I'm finna go back and get the pill. Go to the bike. I come from the bike. I sit down like, damn, man, god damn, bro. How many you want? I need all of them, big man. I said, all of them, man, you don't even know how many it is. They got looked up. They got mm. that pistol in my face. Now, what kind of pills were these? Huh? What kind of pills? X's. Oh. Yeah, I had that. I was the X-Man yeah, yeah. Oh, at one point in time. Oh, yeah. oh, I didn't see. I don't know this about you, Mark. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. He don't, I don't tell now. He don't tell now that on the yeah, back. Yeah. Oh, he be yeah. yeah. suited and booted. <laughs> right. He's oh, sober. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, ah, oh, shit, oh, yeah, Mark is clean cut. I was trapping back with my kid. He's like, yeah. He's like, I need all You know what I'm saying? When I was a youngster. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know what? So, everybody, everybody used to, I feel like that's a part of like growing up. You got to trap a little bit. Well, growing up in Little Rock, nigga, it was damn near a necessity. Yeah. That nigga say I need all of those. <laughs> I said, "Oh, this nigga that came with some paint." He, he said, "Nah." Yeah. I said, he said "All of them." But as soon as I say "All of them," look up. That motherfucker had that thing in my face. I said, "God damn!" Yeah, yeah. It was another nigga. It was another nigga over there on the side. He said, "Big man, hey man, I couldn't, I couldn't stop the nigga." He said, "Man, big man, I need it, bro. I need it. I got to have it, bro. Don't move. Don't move." I said, nigga, you gonna rob me? They said, don't move. I'm telling you. I said, damn. Look in that nigga eyes, bro. That nigga was barred out too. Zannies? Yeah, they was yeah. on them Zannies. I said, nigga, all right. You show motherfucking right. You gonna rob me, nigga? Bam. 
That's probably one of your jokes, man. Yeah. But that's what, and that, that's what cracks me up, though, sometimes. When people be like, oh, you're going to rob me? I was like, yeah, yeah. well, he's doing it. Yeah. <laughs> yes, he's going to rob you, nigga. nigga. He got the gun out. You're getting robbed. It's like, nigga, <laughs> you oh, going to rob me? Fireball. Oh, man. yeah. Oh, yeah. He's robbing you right now. Oh, I was shooting at that nigga every time. <laughs> <laughs> My nose shoot that ass missing many times. Bow, bow, bow. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> I was shooting like I was on bars, nigga. I was like, bow, bow, motherfucker. <laughs> boy, boy, nigga. I'm talking about, but it's, it, 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 it really, it, it, it just didn't feel right, dog, because it's like, you grew up with this nigga, so you just like, you know, you got that familiarity. But my so whole thing see- is, if you's trapping, right, mm-hmm. and you know, what, you know what he's doing, and he's robbing motherfuckers. Yeah, that's your boy, but it's like you should have had. I, I I just would have been a little more prepared. You should have been a little more prepared. I mean, prepared. In, in Think about it. Sight, Ain't no but, hindsight. In hindsight, because look, that's that's all all of the guys we didn't grew up with and went down these paths. You know what I'm saying? So like, you gotta trust somebody. Nah, you know cause see, saying? I've had some friends back in the day. When, and it was arrogance, dog. See, that's my whole thing is. Even though I was like, that's the homie, I grew up with you, I knew you. There were certain motherfuckers to where I was like, ugh. Oh, it's this nigga Wayne? All right, bet. I'm going to pull up strap. Just in case. Mm-hmm. It was arrogance, yeah. dog. It was arrogance, dog. Yeah, it was arrogance see? to the point where you feel like, I feel like, nigga, that nigga know better. Ain't no no better. I was like, that nigga, that nigga would never, you know what I'm saying? Because it. I, I I knew you I know you too well, you know what I'm saying? You like he's like I ain't know where the nigga stayed and then, but I know that where the nigga be. So I'm going to where you be. I went to, that night, nigga. Did you have a strap at the time? He wasn't there. Did huh? you have a strap at the time? Mm-hmm. You should have had it with you. You should have been prepared. Listen, I'm just telling you, bro. Especially if you're in that game and you know what he's about. You should have had the strap it, it, on it, you, bro. You should have been ready. It was, for it was, it was, it was multiple niggas in there too. It was multiple, what? It was multiple niggas in there too. That came with him. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's, well, that's different. Yeah. It's a little bit different. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 It, it, it's, it, it's, it's, it's a little, it's a little more to the story. You know what I'm saying? But okay. You know, shit. Life lessons. You know what I'm saying? It was another nigga tried that shit. Uh, tried that shit too. Call me talking about he wants something. Nigga, <laughs> it's Rob be, Marcus Day. I, I told, <laughs> but let me tell you something. He he came that motherfucker. He had like uh, you know, I pulled up, and he was on them bars too. And nigga had a crowbar. He ain't had no pistol. Nigga had a crowbar. Say, I opened the door. I was like, I turned around like, you what you what you need, my nigga? He said, I need all of it, big man. Hold oh, up! <laughs> I said, nigga, is that a crowbar? <laughs> I said, nigga, you think you finna take my shit with a crowbar? I said, nigga, get me the one fuck nigga. <laughs> that nigga ran in the house. That nigga had a little bitty dog. <laughs> that nigga came outside with the little bitty. Get him! Get him! Get him! That nigga tried to sick a little dog on me. Like a Yorkie? Yeah, like a little bitty dog. <laughs> a teacup. <laughs> he was at his mama house. He told his mama I was trying to rob him. <laughs> the nigga tried to flip the script. <laughs> 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 nigga. <laughs> dog. <laughs> My homeboy and them told me they were shooting dice a couple, couple weeks after that. My homeboy and them told me they were shooting dice. Shooting dice at the uh, at the trap. I said, "Who all over there?" Woo, 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 woo. He said, "That nigga name." I'm on the way. I don't think I even told them yet. Come to the trap. Step in. <laughs> it's so stupid. That nigga, that nigga, he going off. He like, yeah, hey, hey, hey. He going off. He tearing their ass up. I just standing there in the trap. I'm like, this is him. 
And nigga, and nigga, shoot some young niggas. And nigga, look up. He see my black ass over there. And he get, start getting a little nervous then. <laughs> Somebody knew what was going on. They say, big man, don't start this shit. I said, no, I ain't, I ain't doing nothing. I ain't doing nothing. He said, he say, uh, that's when niggas start sweating. Then niggas start losing. I said, hey, man, come on outside. I let me. They said, no, 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 big man, don't start that shit over here. I said, no, 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 let me bring him on my side. So I come on out there. They said, we're going to get him out, because he didn't want to come outside. They said, we're going to get him, we're going to bring him outside. I go outside. <laughs> Wait on. <laughs> <laughs> they come to the front porch. <laughs> so when you come out there, my fuck, bah! Popped his ass. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Man, why you hit me like that? <laughs> so I reach and grab the nigga. I grabbed the nigga by the back of his b- belt buckle. <laughs> <laughs> by the back of the belt the back, buckle? You know, you know the back of your belt buckle right here? <laughs> and I, I was so strong, nigga, back then, nigga. <laughs> I lift the nigga up. I just him. And I slammed him on his head. Pow! <laughs> Calm down. It's all right. Calm down. It's okay. You know, I got on top. I put, I put my knee on his, on his chest. Captain Arkansas. Bah! 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 Okay, that's enough. Sit down. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. Don't hit me no more, man. Big man, don't hit me no more. Nigga start crying. Ooh. Nigga start crying. He cried? He cried. He was a bitch. He was a bitch. <laughs> Nigga start crying. Don't hit me no more, big man. Don't hit me no more. <laughs> I like this nigga. Don't hit me no more. <laughs> yeah, nigga ain't had the crowbar on him at that time. <laughs> Now I'm talking about y'all I was hitting it. I was hitting him in the same eye every time. <laughs> bow, bow. That motherfucker damn that was coming out. <laughs> Hell yeah. What? Hell yeah. I was beating the shit out that boy. That motherfucker eye was like this. It was hanging a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's fucked He got up. back trying to run off the, run on the porch. Caught his ass again. Bow! I said, big man, big don't hit me no more. I'm sorry, I ain't mean to. I was on the bars. <laughs> I said, you look, well, you, you're sober now, goddamn. You're going to feel it while you're sober. Bow! I was tearing his oh. ass up. He said, stop hitting the marker. My homeboy hit me a few days later. He said, man, what the fuck you do to that boy? I said, what you talking about? He said, man, I just seen that nigga Ivo. Ivo. And that nigga, I was hanging like this hell. <laughs> he said, man, what happened to you? He said, man, they jumped me over there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a nigga can't tell you, you got that whoop right there. Man, they jumped Dude, me over there. We got jumped. Nah. <laughs> hey, motherfucker, he said, he said, he said, I had, he said I had to call him tomorrow. And then they said, they, they, they said, man, hell no. Nah. Man, Marcus beat the hell out of that boy. Over cat ragged. Cat ragged. I told him that cat ragged. They told me, you know what I'm saying? Goddamn crowbar shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Quit playing with me, boy. Oh. Shit. I was on his ass like white on rise, you hear me? Stank on shit, boy. I was on his ass. <laughs> 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 Why you That's why you gotta be careful, man. Who you, you know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't listen. Don't be out here. You officially an underrated comedian. I'm crying. You gotta be to the set. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta be careful, man. You gotta be careful, man. Dude, this is you can't you can't trust everybody. You can't defend everybody, man. You gotta know when mother got here on bullshit, you got to let them go. Let them go. You hear me? Let them folk go. If they out here on bullshit, they reckless, man, cut them ties. But they gonna have you in some bullshit. So I had that nigga like Cyclops out that bitch, boy. <laughs> nigga ain't gonna never leave the house without his crowbar again, I'll tell you that. <laughs> no. Uh, at least uh, 10 shot outside the Miami restaurant during the Fresh Montana video shoot. Fresh Montana, what the hell kind of video shoot was this? This was a real shoot. <laughs> shit. What the hell did you do? A wow. video of a shoot. Last time I t- last time I heard Fresh Montana, he was doing twerk song. What the, what the what? I don't know none of that nigga music. Yeah, shit, I ain't even I ain't even know the nigga still was out there. I ain't know the nigga still was out there. Last time I heard that, yeah, that. 
turn. What's that? Uh, the, the French Montana. One, two. Damn. Oh, with Nicki Minaj. I, I think that yeah, had that, that was the only song I know about him because it was like. Yeah. Freaks. Yeah, yeah, freaks, freaks. Yes. Nicki's oh. cold, man. I'm no, like, no, no, no. That, that's the name of it. No, I'm talking about yeah. something else. Yo, All right. Hold on, what French Montana song? Cause he had one with Nikki. Is that no more drug dealer for you, Marcus? Hell no. Nah. I'm done. I'm done. Got them. There was too much shit going on. Boy, them niggas do it too much. What the hell? French Montana had a. God damn, it was a, it was a known goddamn. Uh, I used to know his, his his little ad lib. He had a, a, a ad lib though, popular. I can't remember his number that nigga. What's the ad lib? I can't remember shit. Oh, I thought you said if you only remember. <laughs> I, said I used that. to. Oh. <laughs> oh, damn. He used to have something. Yeah. I, don't stop. Pop that pussy. Don't stop. Yeah. Pop that, that pussy. Fit. Yeah. Don't stop. What you working with? Don't stop. 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 Don't all right. Uh, yeah, that's crazy, though. French Montana, stop making music. I think that was a sign that you need to stop. You getting folks killed. <laughs> that's how terrible your music is. You getting folks killed. Stop, French. Montana, you, that's a terrible even. The name is terrible. <laughs> you chose Montana out of all the states. French Montana, that shit don't go together. Ain't nobody French in Montana. He's stupid. <laughs> What's wrong with you, boy? Shit. His boys told him it was cold, though. He was like, hey, I'm about to be French Montana. They're like, ooh. Man, that shit sounds crazy as hell. French who? That shit sounds crazy. French who? <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, <clears throat> shout out to my girl real quick. Angela Bassett wins, wins Best Supporting Actress in a Motion Picture at the Golden Globe for Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Yeah, yeah, they finally gave yeah, my they, girl. Listen, they ain't gave her no goddamn uh, no uh 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 what's called yet though Oscar. No Oscar yet. I'm mad they ain't gave her the Oscar. But they they finally put some respect on the name. But y'all got to give her an Oscar, man. She been deserved that Oscar. Right. What love got to do with it? Supposed to get that Oscar? She yeah. killed Tina Turner. She got the wrong. She the wrong color. Yeah, you know I man. Y'all gotta quit playing. Quit playing. Quit playing. <laughs> Is this camera on? Is this camera on me? <laughs> <laughs> she look good too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, she still look good too. Damn. Damn. Thing. It's like, damn. Yo, 60 yeah. something. She's 60 she something. Ain't. Man, that ain't boy. Shit. Motherfucker aging like goddamn. Woo, woo. Like yeah, boy, that mo uh, agent. She, she ain't doing that. She ain't doing that. <laughs> yeah, that mo look twenty two. God damn. Oh my god, boy, I'm talking yeah. about that's a that's a queen right there. That's a queen right there. Yeah, yeah, she raw. I, listen, I, if, raw if, I just want me some. That it's gonna stay aged like that. Give me two of them that stay aged like that. Boy, I just want something. <laughs> and give me two. Fact, give me two. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, let me get two. Let me get two unicorns and put them in the back. Right. Me and you gorgeous sit five dollars and mark like Bobby Womack. Fuck you, man. I don't even know what Bobby Womack look like. That's uh if you think you I know who he is, I don't know what he look like. Oh boy, you roast the ass if you <laughs> Oh. Hey, I got my other phone right there on the on the account. I need that real quick. Uh, yeah, she's oh yeah, she's still fine. Make up a night, boy. That out uh, sixty. I think he's sixty three. Woo! Good lord, good lord. You need to give her an award. That now she has, yeah, we got we we got to give her an award. Yeah, just the black community got to get her award. Just. Mm-hmm. Just for being everything. She just for being everything. <laughs> just you everything. She's bad now. Yeah, that's that's the that's the reward. You everything. 
Oh, fuck y'all. Let me see. Let me see, Bobby. Anyway, say he look like. All right, man. So y'all already know. It's that week, y'all. It's that week. Y'all gonna y'all gonna laugh together? As a group. It's that. It's that week. It's that week. Promo week, baby. Promo week. Tap 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 in. Nico's kitchen shop. Nico's Sea Moss Kitchen Shop. Nico Kitchen Shop is our favorite supplier of wild crafted sea moss products and plant based supplements. Uh, detox with sea moss and holy water sour soap. Detox teeth to reset for 2023. Sea moss can help you reach your fitness goals in more than one way. Of course, it helps with weight loss. But sea moss can also help your body recover between workouts. Mm, I didn't know that. Workout. Mm. Help you shake back like a scripple. Mm. <clears throat> it can help with over, overall nutrient absorptions. And sea moss has the nutrients needed to help curb unhealthy cravings. Nico Kitchen Shop prepares all of their CMOS products to order and ships them fresh within two to five business days. They have a variety of quality CMOS products to choose from, like traditional CMOS gel, CMOS gummies, CMOS soap, and CMOS pills. If you have a little <clears throat> phlegm in your chest after getting over that holiday bug, Mud and leaf capsules with holy water is the way to go. No matter what you choose, their products are so easy to use. Now, y'all know my product. Y'all know I like that holy trinity. Because you can bless your three of them with that. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, if you put that holy trinity in your body, don't let me be working with that right there. That third leg, ooh, that nigga be like an end table, just hard. Let me tell you something. Boy, let me tell you something. You might, you're you going to need, listen, if you got a nympho, you can cure if you get that holy trinity. That's the cure. That holy trinity, that cross, you cross her ass, nail her ass to the cross. <laughs> you hear me? You about to get you some of that holy trinity. That's some, I'm telling you, I, I, I don't know nothing better. I'm talking about, I think it works in your hips too. I think you make your hips move too, because I'll be in there swindling. <laughs> swindling in that cootie cat. You hear me? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. She, yeah. Get you some of this. I'm Get you, you some of this. Trust me when I tell you. <laughs> tell me. T -t tell you. I'm tr trust. I'm man. Shit. <laughs> Discover your favorite products and order with Nico Kitchen Shop today. Get yours before it's gone. They're having a huge New Year sale on select items. You can get a discount on all items with promo code Mainstream. M A N E S T R. E A M. We get credit no matter what promo code you use. Just fill out the quick survey on your order confirmation page. Go to NicoKitchenShop.com to order. That's N I C K O. N I C K O. N I C K O. And Nico is her name, ho. NicoKitchenShop.com. And make sure you follow them on Instagram and Facebook. And need go kitchen shop for more info. <coughs> talking about me. Said now, <laughs> if you don't know, get you some Nico. I'm telling you, you're gonna, it's, it's gonna it's gonna bless you and your partner. And I'm speaking from experience. Uh -huh. <laughs> speaking from experience. T 
tell him, tell him, tell him you had to, you don't have to, you don't have to call me or text me. Hey, calm down and you, 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 you about to commit, you about to commit a murder. You had to, you had to text me and say you, look, you, you about to commit a murder. Calm down and now you didn't call me, you didn't text me and told me that before. <laughs> but yes, you, 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 you calm down and you about to commit a murder. You didn't told Go me that before. Dumb, dumb, yeah, you in there going dumb, crazy in there. Dumb. Calm down, you about to commit a murder. I hear screaming. I, I, do did you stab her with, with a knife? Or, don't do that. Don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Don't yeah. do that. Get some of that Nico kitchen shop. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You have her in the kitchen, propped <laughs> off that Nico, Nico kitchen Too shop. Too much. Huh? That's right. Now there's gonna be some changes around him since you talk. <laughs> you change, you, about to be some changes going on. Hey, Would you change your clothes? They they talking about shoot a video for Nico. Would y'all want him to get on OnlyFans or something? <laughs> yeah, y'all don't want me to shoot that type of video. Right. You don't want me to shoot that video. Nico, that, that Nico kitchen shop save your marriage, you mean? If you have <laughs> problems down there in that in that bedroom, shit. Watch what they do for your marriage. <laughs> Which one? Big man, say, I'm gonna take some. Who somebody. is you? Which one? That's for the man. The sea moss. Which one for the what's one for the woman? Why it's gotta be for the I man? I think it's for y'all too, but I just didn't want to tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's, supposed to, it's supposed to make y'all cry me a river. Oh. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. yeah. Talking about the holy trinity. Yep. Yeah. Mama, I ain't telling you no more. That is some <laughs> nasty stuff, boy. It ought to do something. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I take like, mine straight. I like it. It's kind of like the Holy Trinity. I like God, both of them. Crazy. It's kind of like alcohol. Y'all are thinking about something else. That's why y'all it's good to y'all. Nah, yeah, like it's kind of it like either. it's kind of like alcohol. No, nah, alcohol sometimes you know, will kill you. Yeah, nah, no, no. No, I'm talking about. I'm nah, saying it's taste. like alcohol because well, the alcohol the, the alcohol tastes terrible, but it gives you a good feeling. Too, right? You know what I'm saying? Mm. Oh yeah, but it, but it kills too, right? the downstairs shit. Yeah, but I'm, 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 I'm just saying realize. as far as far as that. I was just Listen comparing this women who drink too much. That should no. be dry. Oh, that, I took that, it. That I, liquor be having me. Like I'm her. talking. I said women. Oh, oh. Yeah, no so. women. I, I'm noticed a trend. Women who drink too much. It should be like you know, it's kind of dry. It's Spanish flies. It's kind of dry. I didn't like the taste. <laughs> the taste. Is that kind of dry? I didn't like the taste. Of it, right? <laughs> yeah. So Canada. I took the pill. Man, that stuff had you. You can't even stand yourself. What? Have you gassed up so bad? It's trying to. What it's trying to take out you? <laughs> oh my God! You know, oh. Something different. It's cleansing you. It's cleansing your soul. No, you you had a lot of. You had a lot of bulls. It cleansed more than my clean. soul. I said I can't. I couldn't take that. I took two pills. My boy say me took too. Me I like eat it straight days. up. No blending needed. Uh-huh. Yeah. Right. 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 No. That 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 Trinity and the other one. What's the other one? Double double whammy. Oh yeah, I yeah. take all mine straight. Yeah, they said gotta admit that Holy Trinity Big is right school. on point with your humby your humby root. What did that right there? I gotta get with that. Yo, him be rude. I gotta keep me some supplies. Y'all don't be saying nothing because he gonna get everything y'all say. I gotta give me some. I gotta keep me some supplies. I gotta keep that everywhere, both up. <laughs> I might get. I might get double up. Bop, bop. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it's gonna look at him. Break you off some. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna look at her like this. You know we're about to go down, don't you? Yeah. Well, there you oh, Don't play with me. <laughs> I can't. Man, we're finna take it to the phone line, man. Gonna hey, take it to the phone line. Keep on hitting that a, like button. Talk a little shit. It's my little spit. You know what I'm talking about? Boy, it's something else. Yeah, man. We've been here for a second. Let's get a blessing in there. Let's. Yeah, Macaroon. Ain't tried that Macaroon. I heard about it, though. Yeah, your humby gonna cause pain. I didn't look up that your humby. Your humby. Your humby. Your humby. <laughs> he said, when Joe Nay gonna break into stand up comedy? I'm gonna have her open for me. Watch. I'm gonna, I'm gonna write her a whole five, ten minutes. <laughs> they're, gonna, they're gonna mess y'all up when she come on stage. Next come up, Joe Nay Feng Shui. Clean the duck nest, baby. I'm cleaning the duck nest, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cleaning the duck nest, baby. You see me? You see me? I'm good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Duck nest. Don't make phone sway. Don't tell him. You know John Nate. <laughs> Hot looks by deep. <laughs> Make sure y'all get some of these uh, clothes for me before I get up out here. My son ain't paying me nothing. Uh, what you say, my son ain't wet? <laughs> my son ain't wet. Hey, he ain't paying me nothing. Mm-hmm. Y'all familiar. Y'all ain't giving me no money, y'all. Y'all get him. He ain't run me that money yet. Oh, oh, oh! oh, oh that's, 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 the calls already came in. I forgot. Oh, come on. They hung up. Oh, okay. So, oh yeah, somebody hit me today about doing college 
these college tours. Call from. They gotta. Oh. I gotta get my money up for it because I gotta pay for. Mainstream in the building. What to do? Yo, what's happening? What's happening with it, man? State your name. Where you from, dog? What up? I didn't know I was calling in already. Y'all surprised me on this bitch. <laughs> oh, 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 this open? Yeah, you already man, know it. Man, how you always the first, but you, you, this nigga <laughs> blind, but always the first nigga to call. Boy, this nigga got a, a, a call from, call mainstream. Hey. You got to be some voice now. You already know. Oh, boy, you a bad nigga, man. You a bad nigga, man. My, my up, partner, Mama J? Huh? I'm saying what's up to Mama J. You know, I always hey. say that first. Hey, how you doing? Maintaining. You already know I'm steady gaining. All right, yes, all sir. right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. What we talking about today? We talking... All right. Last week, I, my man was somewhere else. I was trying to get some trim. I remember oh. everything now. <laughs> yeah. You had your old lady in the background. I remember that. <laughs> Yeah, not my old lady. This is my special lady friend. Oh, your special. Let's okay, get, okay. Let's not get crazy. Yeah, let's not get crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so first, uh, brother Ron, that's black. We need we need to change his name to Reverend Encyclopedia because he'll take you to church with his mouth. <laughs> that's, that's gonna be his new name. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and he said he he mentioned when I got pulled over. I only been blind for seven years. I went blind May twenty fourth. 2016. Oh, okay, so, yeah, okay. I done pulled over before. I done, I done had a Suburbans, Lax, Rams, Bang, everything. I done, I done did it all now. Yeah. I ain't been blind forever. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and he might not believe it, but I make clothes for everybody out here in Cincinnati, man. I'm a, I'm a blind nigga making clothes for everybody, so I got the vision, even though I can't see. What? Matter wow. of fact, I can see. I'm just blind. I don't tell, I don't tell if I can't see, because my vision is still, when you can't see, your vision is reached further, so. Yeah, I started the clothing business and went blind four months later. But I'm still doing it seven years later. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. This nigga's a miracle. You got a website? Oh, yeah, I want to see yeah. them clothes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah you can uh, see What's some videos on YouTube. Butterscotch Jelly Beans. You can see some shit. Butterscotch Butterstar. Jelly Beans on everything. Facebook, Instagram, like Butterscotch everything. YouTube, Jelly everything. Beans. Butterscotch Jelly Beans. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, All right, yeah. so... Uh, Chad, Chad there, right? Chad? Yes, sir. Well, I'm in the building. What's up with it, man? All right, man. This this is where I want to get off my chest. So I know I know you don't know me, but you know I'm blind. And I know if you saw me like about to step off the curb into a big ass puddle, I, I know you would tell me to help me out, right? For sure. Without a doubt. All right, for sure. Well, then my next question is, how come you ain't tell your damn cousin that everybody was jumping on this guy, oh, man? <laughs> What's up, <laughs> bro? <laughs> Damn, bro. If that's your people. You ain't help a stranger. <laughs> you, hey, you must be keep. Hey, you better keep your bro smart in the holes in the dark, man. <laughs> Damn. Bro, everybody bro, knew. Everybody about, knew said episode, my nigga Marcus, man. Yeah. Talk about the episode we were talking about the girl. Hey, he ain't yeah. let that shit go oh, yet, girl. man. Yeah. Uh, uh, Muffy. No, but yeah, yes, that's what I'm talking about. Shay. Hey, Oh, Shay. Yeah, Shay, I told them Shay, the story. Shay. You weren't here when I told them the Shay, story. Shay, Shay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I remember that. That was what I'm talking about. Oh, get on his ass, man. That <laughs> nigga left me. Yeah. Hey, my, my nigga crazy. hurt, man. Take, hey, take that nigga out and get a sandwich or something tomorrow, man. My nigga hurt. <laughs> <laughs> that, shit is probably, that shit is probably 27 years ago. That nigga still bringing it up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and, and he telling the story with passion, too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and like always, man, y'all stay cool, and I yield the rest of my time. To yes, sir. Reverend Encyclopedia. <laughs> All right, Obi. All right, Obi. All right. All right, y'all. All right. Is that Obi for real, or you just grabbed a picture? Nah, that's it. I that's Obi. Actually, I don't know. Hey, look, at, uh, he just, just made the man a picture. On his page. I can tell you if it's him or not. Okay. There's people calling, man. This motherfucker been blowing up with people calling. It ain't him. No, I'm talking about. No, no, no. It's somebody hey, calling. My black ass ain't hang up. Y'all better oh, hang up shit. on me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all over here struggling to hang up like a motherfucker. Hey, 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 missing calls and shit. Hey, the. Where is this window? Did you hang up? What's, what's his name on the thing? Who opened? 
uh, is it Fat Buff Dude or something like that? No, Butterscotch Jelly Bean. Mm-hmm. Oh. That ain't the Instagram, no, man. Not on Instagram. Super, he said it's everywhere. Super F U F Dude. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this that ain't the same person. <laughs> they said ask that Obi if that's him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's yeah, that ain't the same person. No, I'm saying they ain't the same person that that uh, that uh, hey, but, they pulled up. <laughs> uh, that was from his page. That was from his clothing store. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That must have been his uh, blind cousin. So cause that ain't him. <laughs> hey, let me my in. Bad, my bad. <laughs> 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 hey, they they call it. Hey, they said let him in. Yeah, I, he opened the line up. He he, he was ignoring y'all. <laughs> yeah, I uh. Not hmm. What you were saying about the college tour? Oh yeah, so somebody hit me up about this t- college tour, but I got to uh, I got to do um, what is it? Auditions for it? Or some in in March, but I gotta you gotta pay a fee for it to be to get representation. So I got I got I got hustle up me some change, man. She like eighteen hundred dollars. <laughs> So I got to I got to I got to get, cause I, that, boy, them, they gonna pay good for them college. You know what I mean? Right, right. Mainstream in the building, what it do? Hey, Marcus, how are you? Oh, I'm wonderful. How you doing, darling? I'm doing well. I love your show. I want to say you are doing so well. And we've been watching you, me and my honey, since you've been on 51, well, 5150. Hey. And we love what you're doing. Oh, thank you, sure. What's your name? What's your what's your name over there? Well, um, my name is I go by Mama D. That's what my babies and my clients call me. Okay, Mama D, like Scrappy Mama. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Not like I'm gonna say this ain't Scrappy Mama, is it? <laughs> uh, uh, no, 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 no. I'm a clinical psychologist. Not okay. Like mama. You need a doctor. <laughs> what, what, what's, what's, what's your button? Uh, uh, oh yeah, I got wanted it. to talk about the um the Mariah Carey and Nick Cannon thing. Okay, and I Ready? wanted to say like you, like I said, you guys do a phenomenal job with how you talk about the different subjects, and everybody's allowed to give their different opinions. But I just wanted to say this one thing: you guys got to be careful what you say about celebrities on the show. And you don't have all the facts or the receipts for it. Because remember, that's how Tasha K got caught up. Mm-hmm. Y'all don't want to get sued. People right. will do it just to do it to teach you a lesson. Right, right. So we don't know if Mariah Carey actually does drugs. We don't know how much time she spends with her children. We don't know how much time Nick Cannon actually spends with his children. So I think it's important to stick to the factual information when you're talking about these topics so that you don't get caught up right right well well i i, I always say possibility like i always lay mine around possibility when i say well this 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 could be this or this could be that i don't, I don't think i usually speak in absolute you do a good job i think it was more so of i don't know his name so forgive me your guest that's on there today Cam. You didn't say yeah, she's talking about me. Say yes. Yeah, yeah. I get you. I hear you. None of that. You gotta be careful, sweetie. You gotta be careful. Mm-hmm. Thank you, no. honey. Y'all so yeah, appreciate you. that. You're welcome. Appreciate and you, Mama. Go ahead, Mama D. I'm glad that I got through. We will continue to support your show. We love you, and we know that your blessings are going to continue to pour in. All where, where, where y'all located? And we love your mama. Where, you, where y'all located, Mama she D? She said she loved me. Be quiet. She said she loved your mama. <laughs> she loved me. Thank you, sweetie. Where I love you? you, too. You're welcome. I love your gems. I love your gems. I'll be sharing some of them with my clients in session. I'll be oh. telling them about your show, markets, and then I'll tell them about the gems your mama dropped. Come on, so, now. I love that. <laughs> where, y- where y'all located? We're in Arizona. We in Arizona. What, what part? Phoenix? No, we're in a suburb, Peoria. It's like 30 minutes from. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got, I got, I got to tap in up there and get. And, and I was in um, Phoenix uh, a few year, a uh, few months ago with um, Le J, Le JJ. Uh, I'm gonna come back. We th- heard that, so we hope you come back soon. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna tap in with him. Try to come back, uh, come there this year. Okay. Well, awesome. Thank you guys for accepting my call and 
like I said, your future is going to be so bright. I love you all. Especially you, you, Mama <laughs> Jonay. We love you. Thank, Thank you. you. We love you, too. Appreciate You're you. Welcome. Thank you, Thank darling. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Should we? Yeah, yeah, man. They be man, some good people up in that chat, man. I, I, I love Holly Nettle, man. It's, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just that good yeah, energy, man. Right that, that good energy. Oh, that, man. that look like that could be over. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's over. Yeah. Right <laughs> that's it all over. <laughs> yeah. Yes, my boy, right now, OB. Now that look like a blind pimp. <laughs> Somebody call it. All right. Call from. <laughs> Mainstream in the building, what it do? You know Marcus. <laughs> yeah, Jack. Who he is and where yeah, he at? Yeah, bro. I've been trying to get on this thing for so long. I've been watching for, since you started, since episode one. Oh, come on now. Yeah. Come on now. Hey, man, we got to give you all the applause, you dog. Talk to Obi. He know how to get in. <laughs> yeah, Obi man, got the cheat bro. code. I didn't call probably for like a month straight never got in abe i appreciate you bro i appreciate it yeah <laughs> what's your name dog where you from man i'm dave from oakland dave from oakland hey man i'm gonna be down there next week on the uh on the 20th yeah i know i'm gonna be at i'm gonna be on the show i i i'm a comedian too i i do that open mic oh I've shit, been okay the okay whole last, the whole last year yeah Damn. yeah hell yeah man yeah. I'm gonna come up there and talk yeah, to Skinny shit. Buff, the host. I've been I've been doing that show since since uh twenty uh the end, the end of twenty twenty. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Or, uh, okay. 20, uh, tw- yeah. So oh, I'm hopefully gonna, I'm, I see you. I'm gonna let you then. Yeah, but uh I wanted to uh, touch on the uh, um on the uh, the dude that killed his uh his his baby mama yeah. uh and his mom and his dad and burned the house up. Yeah. So my first question is, he was white, huh? No, that was a black dude. Jonathan Wells. This is a black dude? Yeah. 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 Nigga had- I, I thought he was, I, 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 I couldn't believe it. I, I knew he had to be white. Did he did they kill him? Did they did the police kill him? No, he got he got nineteen charges. I think uh they got the uh, you know some uh first degree murder charges and shit, but he got nineteen total charges. So he shot out with the police, and, and they didn't kill him, and he murdered people. What, what was this at again? Man, he killed three people. He killed this. You said what his name? He said what? Was his no, I said name? where was it at? What was he? What city? Oh, uh, what city? Was that Houston? Uh, some uh, Whit, I think that was Wit who said she think it was Houston, but I it might have been Houston, but I, I I didn't I didn't catch it because somebody said it might be Houston. It says Detroit. Oh, Detroit. I see oh, this nigga. He it must was a don't d- look Detroit, like Detroit. No nigga. He must look like Vin Diesel or The Rock or something. One of them ambiguous niggas. Yeah, it was Detroit. He said he must be. Nah, like it was a nigga. nigga. It was a, it was a nigga. It looked like a nigga. He, he was just you could tell something wrong with him. Oh, appreciate you, Jeremy House, right. for uh buying the buying the subscription, man. Hey, all I can say about that is, man, he must. The guy got him here for a reason, because a nigga, nigga, yeah, he's still right trying to show his ID. Look at this nigga. nigga if you look at the screen, he get killed, <laughs> bro. If you looking at the screen right now, this nigga looks Looney Tune. Yeah. I don't even know why a bit would even fuck with this nigga right there. That nigga look crazy. <laughs> I, can't, I, I can't even see the screen. I'm on the phone, but uh, mm. look, man. Hopefully, bro, I ain't gonna keep the line. I know Black Ron tried to come on here and tell a sermon, but uh, <laughs> uh, hopefully, I see you. Man, on the twentieth down at Rob Benz in Oakland, man, to do too much, man. Shout out to Lewis Belt, uh, yes sir, for giving us the platform, man. You, you, been, I've been watching you, man. I loved your uh, shit on uh, keep your distance, you know, even despite the pants ripping, the shit still was funny. So, yeah, uh, oh, yeah. Man, hopefully, <laughs> yeah, Appreciate hopefully, you. hopefully, I see you, man, and keep up the good stuff, man. And I, I love mainstream. What's up, Chad? He- big What's happening? What's Mama, happening? all y'all. Hey, now. Yeah, appreciate you having me on, man. Y'all, y'all be smooth. Already, you too, for G. Show, for sure. Much love. All right. We get about two more. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. We gonna have. I'm gonna have. Oh, Chad gonna be with me too. Oh, Are you rolling out there? Are you flying out there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. T- yeah. Round you get a hotel? Just, round trip just a hundred dollars. Oh, so you going? You flying there and then coming right back? No, no. I'm. I'm still got a couple of days. Uh, yeah. Okay. Nah, cause I drove up there. It was it was cool. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah, mainstream in the building. What to do? 
Hello? Oh, mainstream mainstream in the building, what it do? Oh, hi, hi, how y'all doing? Good. Oh, no, baby. Sure. Sure. Good how to hear you doing? from a lady. Hello. You look like one that just called. Yeah, I know. Two of them at one time. Cool. Oh, yeah, they don't happen too often. No. What's your name? Where you from, baby? <laughs> um, my name is Nikki. I'm from um, Arizona. Nikki, uh-huh. Nikki, Nikki. Oh, okay, come on, Arizona. I, I got to get back out there. You, you in Phoenix? Yeah, I mean, basically, Phoenix is a major city, so yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I got I to gotta get out there to Phoenix, man. I, I, man, I ain't know y'all be fooling with me like that out there, but y'all do be showing love when I get there, so I got to, yeah, I got to get back out there. So we know Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> come on now. <laughs> and bring Mama too. Mama got to come too. I, I'm All definitely right. bringing them, man. I'm, I'm, I'm going right. to that stand up live, see if they give me a little one night or something. That's what's up. I'll definitely come and support. I definitely will. Bet. Um, but I just wanted to talk about the uh, the young man who uh, basically like killed his mother and or you know, it's basically his whole family. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. I don't. It's crazy. I just saw uh, something on Instagram. It was another story that came out too. Similar situation. Another man. Uh, killed his baby mother. <clears throat> they had he was living with her or something like that, and he was cheating on her, living with her, cheating on her. Damn. And so she was like, you know, look, you gotta go. You know, asked him to leave. Uh, you know, he went back to his mom's house or something like that. And I, but I guess homeboy still needed a ride to work uh, the night that night, and she went and picked him up and took him to work, and he killed her in the in the parking lot. Damn. Yeah, ain't that crazy? Damn, <laughs> man, y'all, man, got to stop enabling these niggas, man. God damn, these niggas. Is, I know. What the? So he, so, wow, so she was already taking care of. Him. She cut that she off. She had, she had, she was, she was. It sounded like she was really trying to break away by asking him to leave, and you know, but was still trying to look out for the dude by yeah, taking his, time. taking him to work, and you know, what I'm saying, homeboy just. You know what I mean, like, and I don't. So I. He was black just, too. My whole thing is, I'm sorry. He was black too. Yes, unfortunately. Niggas, man, these niggas need therapy. These see, you used need... to say, see, folks used to say that women was crazy. You know, not to say that we, because we are crazy. Right. They used to say women is crazy, but I'm like now, it's just as scary to be with y'all. <coughs> I mean, it's man. like life or death. You hey man, scared. I. I, 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 I I really feel y'all at, at, at this point. Like, uh, is these niggas tripping? These niggas, yeah, man. Especially these Ooh, niggas that's, that's 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 ain't that ain't got nothing. It sounds like a lot lot of these niggas is niggas that 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 that, that, that ain't got their shit together. You know what I'm saying? So they, they they mentally unstable. They don't know how to handle this. Uh, uh, hitting a certain age, they got so much, uh, I guess, a societal pressure around them. But everybody seems like they got it, and they don't. And and so they just taking it out on everybody else around them or something. That's what it. That's to, if you ask my opinion, that's what it looks like to me. But you know, it's, you, can't. you know what? To me, it feels like they just were not taught coping skills. I mean, I remember like men. Well, not what? Were raised by men who, like, you know, they were taught about, like, not having, you know, how to deal with stuff like that. Like, when a woman leaves you, like, I, when I was coming up, I remember if if you left your man as a man, you'd be like, bye, and he'd be on to the next broad. Like, there was no killing you. They weren't, like, you know what I mean? It just seems like now it's just every time you turn around. And so, I mean, you know, I think for our men, I mean, nobody likes to get hurt. You know, somebody leaves you. It, it hurts. I but get it. You but said you gotta something. Learn how to just move on. Yeah, you don't. You know, nobody has to die. You, you know said I mean? something. You said something though, because you know they demonize niggas like us now. You know what I'm saying? Like we we the worst of the worst. But for niggas that that's like, oh man, you know what? I'm 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 gonna do my own thing. I'm gonna move on. You know, I'm a, I ain't tripping about this. Woo woo. I'm. You know, they like, oh y'all y'all some. Traveling, riding ass niggas, you know, we got a little bitch on the side or something like that. They, oh, we ain't shit niggas and shit. But the, you, can, you can deal with this or you can deal with a nigga that's going to, uh, that's going to, that can't let you go. And go but you're going to bust your motherfucking head, nigga, get too, get too hectic. You know what I'm saying? So, 
You might as well deal with old suave ass player like uh, myself if you go. Uh, there I will, you go. Real, there you I go. Just, no, there you no go. doubt. I miss dudes like they would just move on. They be on mess with your girlfriend or your cousin or something. But they done moved on. Ain't nobody died. You know what I'm saying? And it's good. Ain't nothing hurt but so some I, feelings. Huh? I said, ain't nothing hurt but some feelings. Exactly. There you go. But everybody's still alive at the end of the day. So I, you All know, right. I just. You know, I pray for my brothers. I'm really praying for them and for their mental health and, you know, and their capacity and for for these women, these young women. I mean, y'all just be smart. If you if you left them, leave them alone. Don't go back. Don't help them. Don't call them. Don't whatever. If you left, you left for a reason. Let it let it be. You'll be okay. Don't be and don't be cussing them out. Don't be. You know, I think women sometimes today are a little too disrespectful. So I think that that doesn't help. Yeah. You know, you don't know what somebody going through mentally. So. Don't be cussing nobody out or whatever. Just be polite. So ask them to just politely leave, go on about their way, and you go on about yours. You know what I'm saying? And let it be. And hopefully, yes. you know, we'll see less situations. But that was all. I just wanted to get my little two cents. Oh, and yeah, you yeah. Oh, you yeah, know, we appreciate you. Thank we appreciate you. you. Thank you. Thank you for calling in. Thank Nigga, call you. Come on. Come on. Slide back through there. And then I'm going to holler at y'all when I get to, get to Arizona. Now, matter yes, of fact. Sir. Hit, yeah, matter of fact, hit me on Instagram so I can have. I'm gonna I'm try to give me a little mailing list, man. So if y'all in Arizona or whatever city you in, hit me. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to put it together to where I can be able to hit y'all, let y'all know. You know what I'm saying? That that I'm gonna be there when I'm gonna be there. Oh, I'm I'm already on Instagram. I'll be on there. I'll be seeing you. Okay. So, definitely. Okay. I'm gonna be looking out. Okay. All right. Thank All right. You Thank you, so Nikki. Have a good night. You too. All right, baby. Too. Yeah, boy. Back, when that's boiling back down to that. To that single mother raising them boys and, uh, and, 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 and in comparison, they ain't getting that balance. Them niggas are too emotional. Them niggas are emotionally, emotionally imbalanced. Them niggas are a little, you either gonna go this way, you either gonna go this way, or you gonna, we calling somebody? Oh, uh, that motherfuckers either go, they either go this way or they go this way. They can just, it's. <laughs> <laughs> well, I saw a video from a dude. Niggas be emotionally imbalanced. Is this way or this way? Which way? I forget. I forget where I saw it from or what he what he stood for. But I remember his message, and it was like, "There's a lot of men walking around out here with masculine energy, but female emotional control, and it's mm. like that's dangerous." And he was like, "Actually, he didn't say they're walking around. There's a lot of men in prison like that, yeah. to where it's like you don't know how to handle your emotions." But at the same time, you feel like you're a man, and that's dangerous. Yeah. It's like, you're a powerful dude, and you, you got emotions like a woman. Man. Right. That's a dangerous mix, because yeah. it's like, man, you know, you, you, you're powerful. Right. But you, should, you need to know how to control that. Yeah. Not everybody needs that power. It's like giving a six-year-old the keys to an F-350 diesel. Mm. And, like, that's a powerful truck, but you got to know what to do with it. Call from... You gonna hurt somebody? Mainstream in the building. What it do? Hi, how you doing, Mainstream? Oh, we got it. Oh, women, come on, man. What's up with it, baby? Right, it must be my sexy face been doing these videos, oh y'all. You know what I'm saying? Y'all see this sexy face on the video? I said, let me call Mark. Is that what it is? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's, it might be the glasses. I'm so glad that I got through. It might be the glasses. I got through. It's good to hear from you guys. Oh yeah, likewise, little, likewise. What's your name, baby? And, 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 and where you from? Trinette, OKC. Okay, OKC, okay, okay, I see you. Yeah. Oh, that was cold. I'm <laughs> <laughs> you Come on, Trinette. You got the flow. I just like to say that congratulations on your 51 show and continue doing what you're doing. And um, hopefully you'll be able to add more and bigger things in the future. Oh, absolutely. We, we are already we are already working on. Thank you so much, Jeanette. I appreciate that. That's beautiful. I forget what topic I wanted to talk about, but it was one that you was really fired up on. Um, where you, I think you was cussing one of the females out. She did something to somebody. Was, was it was it was it Diamond? Uh, uh, from 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 uh the the the, 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 the Trump, Trump girl. Oh, uh, no, it's yeah, probably the kid, mama um, who uh, let the son out. That everybody else talk about. 
woman and the son, the one who the, got, what what the mama let the son out. What what she yeah. do? She oh that oh that's she the one that uh, the, the boy yeah. got loose and he killed all them people. That's the one. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, I have a criminal justice degree, and mm -hmm. um, what I've learned in the times that I was been dealing with people in the field is that so many people make excuses for their family members. Right, right, absolutely. C correct. Absolutely. Love that's that's the same thing. It's the same. Well, with, with, you know, with the uncles that done got through with, and, and, and uh, you know, you know how they go with the. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 I know exactly what you're saying. I know exactly. See, the uncles, where you let your little girls sit on their laps when they're young, mm -hmm. and if that little girl is too comfortable sitting on that stranger's lap, it's something wrong. And right. it pisses me off that people do not pay attention to their, their to uh, family members, right. their child, or whoever they're mm -hmm. in their lives. Because if you pay attention to that, you will see if something is wrong right there. Absolutely. Absolutely. I never understood the bias, because let me tell you something. As much as I love you, black ass, boy, do something to mine. I don't care nothing boy, about I'm you. Boy, I don't care nothing. Do you I'm hear me? You. I'll take mm -hmm. boy, listen. I'm mm -hmm. you. I will feed your ass. You know what? I'll feed your ass food with what? broken glass in it. Take yeah, your insides up. I don't know what happened. You do that, they gonna die slow. You don't want them to die slow, so yeah, make it instant. <laughs> But it's gonna fuck you up. What I'm finna tell you. Go ahead. And I'm gonna get off the and I'm gonna get off the phone. Go and fuck me up. When I was when I was 16 years old, I killed my daddy. Oh shit! What? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! I that fucked it. everybody yeah. up. Wait. Oh what? shit! Wait, whoa. Yeah, let that marinate. Oh for a my minute. god! Wait, no wait a minute. Marinate. Hold on now. Wait a minute. God damn. Wait, what happened? The reason why it happened was I grew up in a violent family. When I was six months old, and you know I'm six months, I'm a baby. I don't know what's going on. My brother stabbed him. Your brother stabbed and you? My daddy. Oh. My my dad. Okay. He stabbed my dad. Okay. It wasn't their he he wasn't their dad. He was just my dad. I was his only child. Okay, how old was your brother? But um I got a killer on the line. At that Go ahead. time they at that time they was like 18, 19, 20 years old. Uh huh. Damn. And I was six months. Okay. So fast forward, the story is that I grew up in a violent home. My dad used to beat up on my mama. Oh. Okay. Okay. He used to go to work with two black eyes, you know, um, and that's what I was saying about people making excuses for their family members, you know, even though you love them and everything. And I understand I love my daddy too. And um, I'm not saying that it's right, but I understand that and I'm a grown woman. At 50 years old, <laughs> I understand why he did it because there's a lot of women out there that would nag and entice a man and, and, and don't know when to shut the fuck up until he put his hands on her. And that's not right. You know, sometimes you need to know how to step away from an argument and choose your battle. So <laughs> that little boy who did that to his family members and stuff like that, people knew what he was about. They just made excuses for him. Right. Hold on. So, so, how, how, how you kill him? I stabbed him, and he would have lived had they had my uh, he not pulled the knife out of his chest. When he pulled it out, he cut a main artery. If he would have uh, stayed in, it would have um, he would have lived. But yeah, that's what happened. And I thought at that that night that that happened, they was fighting and, and all that good stuff that they always did. You know, had got used to it by that time, which is crazy. And um, he knocked her out. So when he knocked her out, she was like shaking on the ground. And that freaked me out. And then he came towards me like he was sitting to choke me. So that's the reason why I did it. You should have killed his ass. Uh-uh, big man. Oh, she should have killed his ass. Don't say it like that. Don't do that. I feel like Mark, I mean, you remember I Mark? Mean, I mean, but what I'm saying is that um, it happened and... He wasn't the type of man that was raised up with affection. So we need to teach these boys mm. it's okay to cry when they boys. It's not all this old ego and I'm a man and all this. It's, we all human. Right. And we right. all need to cry sometimes. Right. Is that why you went into criminal justice? I went into criminal justice because I wanted to be a judge. Okay. Oh, you, you a judge? I judge. 
No, no, I didn't get that far. Life came into play. Okay. <laughs> Couldn't afford law school, but my mom got treated real bad in court one time, and that's the reason why I got into criminal justice because I thought that degree would help me get a um, law degree uh, quicker at that time. Oh. Hey. Woo! Man, that's got to be so, tough, yeah, man, you know, to stab your daddy, man. Good Lord. It is. And now that I'm older and I see how life works and I see how people are, I wish I wouldn't have done it because that's grown-up stuff. But I don't know. He probably would have killed her. That's I was going to say, at. you probably saved your mama life, honestly. That's what everybody tells me. But, you know, you never know. You never know. Good Lord. Well, he had been doing you know, it for a long always, time, though. He's, he's always put hands on her. Right, you know, and she's years. always... She's always put up with it. When I was 13, I told her she needed to leave him. So if she chose to be with him, you know, evidently that's what she was into. Damn. So you you, you, you saying you you regret it or you're not really sure? I regret it because kids don't need to be in grown folks' business. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that's the reason why I regret it. I wish that grown people would not have their kids around stuff like that. Um, it's toxic and it teaches them when they grow up how to be. You know, they don't, they might be that way in their relationship. I, I, I'm just curious, like, how do you, how do you feel like about your father that, like, do you, like, you feel like I don't care for that nigga? Like, it's, it's like, what's, what's, what's your emotions towards your father? I'm, I'm, I'm curious. I don't know. I miss him. Oh, the most wow. beautiful thing about it is that his tombstone has his picture on it, you know, his side. And my mother already has her name and her uh, picture that she chose to put on there. She just waiting for her end date. And that showed me just how much of uh, unconditional love that she had for him, even though he was abusing her. Wow. That's one hard. night I tried to break him up from fighting, you know, because she was fitting to stab him one night. And I got in between them, and my hand stopped it. Well, you know, it didn't stop it, but when she stabbed at him, I put my hand up, and it ended up, she stabbed me through my hand, and it was stuck in the door. Oh, damn. So I've, I've saved both of them on both occasions. You stabbed her too? No. No, she oh. stabbed me in the hand. She was trying to stab him. Oh, oh. She yeah, I was trying to block him, she block her from stabbing him. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, Lord have mercy. That was a hell of a household to grow up in. Oh, man. That's, that's... It sure is. And can you imagine growing up in there and still got some common sense? Man. Mm. Well, I got I to gotta, I gotta call my daddy and thank him. He ain't go to that far shit. Man. Right, right. So how you your don't brothers? want nobody to put no hands on your mother, you know. Right. No. Yeah. So how's your brothers doing? Them when my they... brother passed my brother passed away when I was two years old. He got killed over a female. Oh wow. What well, that's your only sibling? I have two sisters that's living. So yeah, I, it's just the three of us still living. Oh that, that, neither, neither one of them was by him though. None, uh, the three oldest was by my mom and her first husband. Okay, yeah, okay. I'm my dad's happened. only child. I was my dad's only child. And he hmm. didn't have a child until he was 43 years old. Hmm. Dang. Well, shit, uh, I, I used to watch my dad fuck my mom up, too. I seen him break her arm. I seen him do a whole lot of bullshit to her. And uh, earlier when I was I was saying I bucked up at him and, and he caved my little chest in, I was stopping him from putting his hands on my mama. So I, I definitely know where, where you're coming from and what you went through. Uh, when, I, when I got about, I think I was like 12, I told my mama if she ain't leave him and stop fucking with him, I was going to stop fucking with her. And I told her she was going to have to choose him or me. And that's when she got the divorce. So, yeah, I... Uh, I, I definitely know what you what you what you're going through, or what you went through. I salute you for being a man because you know a lot of people would be scared to stand up, you know, to something like that, you know. And I can understand, you know, being a kid, you know, he ain't used to going to something like that. But I've, I, I guess cause since I was raised by older par- parents, I've never been really 
uh, scared, and I've always been, I've never really just had uh I've always been around adults. I guess I had some of what somewhat of a child's life, but not really. Most of it around adults. Mm, mm, mm. Drinking, you know, all this type of stuff. They get drunk. That that that's what played a lot of part in it. He would get drunk, drunk. And come home and um, bring up stuff that happened two weeks ago, stuff mm. like that. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. That, that, yeah. Ah. Man, so, Trinette. Yeah, that, that Trinette, you know, hit me with one, Trinette. Woo, you know, hit me with one. Yeah, I didn't want to hit you with that, but I thought I'd tell you some real life shit. Man, listen, way, listen, I'm glad you shared if, your if story. If you ever came across somebody that came across something like that, you can let them know that <laughs> there's people out here that's going through it also, and they need to know. What it is, what saved me from not going to prison is that it was documented. Had People need to call. If somebody is putting hands on you, call. Mm. Don't be scared to call. I mean, I know we live in a time where the police kill us or whatever, but something like that, you got to document it. Film it, record it, something. Mm, mm, mm. You know, because that's what saved me from not going to prison is because when the police was at the house, doing the investigation they was calling down to the uh police department and they separated me and my mom and my uh sister that's next to me and all of our stories collaborated we didn't have no different stories and from child on up and they are way older than me i'm still telling stories the same stories they told me from when you know when i was a child so one last question how did how did how does this affect you in the, as an adult like did do you think it it, 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 it changed you, it, you know, as, as as a person? Like 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 what? I mean, I know I'm sure it changed you some way. Like what what did you? The only thing I can say that it changed me is that um, I'm real. I know how to read people's body language and and um, their anger. You know if. If I know if I'm getting up under their skin or if they're getting up under mine, you cannot change that. Cause um, if they a hot-headed type person, you need to get away from them. That's what I've learned in my older age and trying to be with a man or something like that. And I want to be with someone that's gonna get into an argument over petty stuff or raise their voice at me or you know things like that. You know, that's what I'm thinking that what made me pay attention to things because they was arguing all the time and I didn't like that. I be woke. I was waking up in the middle of the night from him, um, you know, bumping in the walls and stuff in the middle Amen. of the night and that stuff got on my nerves. So try to be around a peaceful person that know how to control their emotions and stuff like that. Right, right, right. right. Somebody asked a legit question. They asked, did your mama forgive you? Oh, yeah, she... <laughs> to be honest with you, she hate that it happened. You know, she blamed me for a long time. Yeah. She loved that man. Damn! She blamed me for a short amount of time. All her friends did. Um, of course, his side of, his side of All his, her friends his did? Uh-huh, yeah. Oh, and, my God. And his side of the family did because his family his family lives in California. Most of them is in Oakland. They not they not living no more now because they you know, they older and passed away. But at that time they in Oakland, California, so they wasn't around. So they assumed that they told they thought that my mama told me to do it so she can get insurance money. Oh my God. Hmm. What? And it was nothing like that. Oh my well, no, but I, I wasn't even knowing about no insurance money back then. I just learned about that there in right. Oh my god! Last couple of years, but yeah, I didn't know nothing about no insurance money. But yeah, that's what everybody thought that it was. But they knew she was beating. He was beating on her though, didn't he? I'm sorry. Say they again. they knew he was beating on her though, didn't he? Oh yeah, everybody knew it. Oh my goodness! She was going to work with two black eyes. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Man, I really hate you mm -hmm. had to go through that, man. Oh, man. Ooh, that's rough right And there. I hate when these kids are going through it nowadays because it's not the kids' fault. None of us asked to be born. And for these people to choose these type of mates, because they, they beat their ass before we was born. Mm -hmm. Right. So why are you, you know, why are you having a kid by this person? 
Hey. <coughs> oh my goodness. I'm Jeanette. telling you, you you know, you don't want to hear my thoughts, but if I was in that White House, it'll be all kind of. I'm with abortion. I really am. Hey 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 hey! hey, hey, hey I'm right there with you. I'm right there with you. I'm right there with you. Everybody Drop some of them little Satan's off. Like, and, and ain't nobody gonna stop fucking. We can't stop them from doing that. So. It, and, and I ain't trying to be no in, on that population control stuff, nothing like that. It's just that people are so irresponsible with their bodies. Right, right. Mm. right. It's sickening. I work at a mental health um, facility. Yeah. Okay. And you'll be surprised how many of them people in there got children. Right, mm. right. I need you None to... None uh, of them people that need no kids. Right. None, not one. I need you to hit me on my Instagram because I need you to be on my podcast. Really? Mm-hmm. Hit my Instagram. Are you serious? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I sure will. Um, it's your name, right? Mm-hmm. Jonah Feng Sway. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, I sure will. Yes, my um, mom about to crank um, up, up crank up, up podcast up. Uh, 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 uh what you what, what, call it? You gonna put oh. a date on it? Uh, I want to start on the first. On the I think it's called Stand Up to These Niggas. What is it called? Shut up, Big Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I want to. I want to get it, get it, get it, get it started. Uh, <laughs> I want to get it started next month. <laughs> next month, I want to get it started. Oh my goodness! <laughs> and I want to have different women on there. You know, that go through the things. You know, like you went went through, and yeah, we're gonna. It's, it's gonna be good. Oh, yes. I can put some things in your ear, ma'am, because all I do is sit back now that I got older and I'm not with the bullshit no more. Well, I was never with the bullshit, but I really ain't with the bullshit no more. I just sit back and I observe people. Because if you just sit back and be quiet and just let people talk, you'll learn everything you need to learn about them. Right. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Just be quiet and just watch. That's all you have yes, to do. Yes, and a lot that's the one that's what's wrong with the pit world. People do not listen. They want to be heard, but mm. they will not listen. I love to listen to people. I do. Oh yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you so much for calling the internet. We sure appreciate you. Have a nice one and have a nice rest of the year. All right, right you too. too. Call Happy back anytime. Year. God bless. All right, thank you. All right, bye bye. All right, much love. Ooh. Boy, we, whew, they be coming through, boy. They be coming through them stories. A, you gonna have to do a show just for your yeah. phone calls or something. Oh, tell yeah. you, they be having them stories. Get it off your chest. That we're gonna call that. Get it off your chest. Literally, get it off your chest or your breast. All right. Listen to that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, might save your life. Hey, come on. <laughs> hey, he came with a dark joke. He said, hey. "Listen to that." He's crazy. Hey, don't take hey, it out. Might save it. your life. Call hey. a professional. All right. Now look, I need y'all help in the comments. Can y'all help me? Because I've been trying to figure out what, I, it's, you know, it'd be so much going on. I've been trying to figure out a scene to do from a movie for the main scene. I just, I just couldn't, I couldn't come up with nothing. I couldn't, I, it was just so many different, <laughs> so much, first of all, it was so much to do. And then I started looking up stuff and I'm like, man, I, I done did these movies and I done did that movie. Like, what can I, what can I do that ain't been done? So I need y'all help. I need y'all to get started back recommend, recommending me uh, scenes from movies to do, man. You know what I'm saying? And we uh, and we'll knock them out. But I, I I just I just couldn't I couldn't put nothing together. I was telling folks to help me. And, you know, shit, we couldn't. Man, help me, help me, please. And then and then and then we tell me what scene from the from the movie. If 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 if, if, if you know, give me movies, but. Tell you me what's in. Samuel Jackson. I already did the Harlem Nights nice one. You ever did anything with huh? Samuel Jackson? I think you did. Which one? I just, I don't know. I, 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 yeah, y'all got to be, be a little more specific. Help me, help me yeah. out a little bit. Samuel saying, got can, like 70 movies. I'm just saying, <laughs> but he can, I'm saying, he, I, I mean, he can do good with him. That'll be a good, yeah. Yeah. yeah I found yeah. one. You did some Samuel. Well, I did one, though. You didn't do it fiction. too. Ain't you? What a hood. Uh, you should do a scene from Django. I did one. <laughs> Oh, you did with Samuel? Yeah, that's Samuel. Leonardo DiCaprio. No, do Samuel. Samuel, do Samuel. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's a new year. That's why I said yeah. we can double yeah. back on some movies now since it's a new year. Okay, I got to see what scene we out. What, what's because because I, I might I might do a pre-recorded one. 
I might yeah, do one. Yeah. I might have us get together and, and, and do a, and do a scene. You know what I mean? Yeah, I might I might have us get together and do a scene. I, I know when you have Jason fun. Jason when David Pinkin got shot by Bo Keem. Oh, I'm go yeah, I'm 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 coming to look at y'all y'all uh, requests. So just know I'm I'm finna I'm finna figure out which one. I know what I know when you'll have fun doing what uh, when Morgan Freeman played a pimp, uh, fast black. I ain't never even seen that. Yeah, yeah, it's hilarious. Uh, it got the nigga who played Superman in there, Keanu Reeves. He was a reporter. Mm-hmm. And, uh, he wanted to do a, a story on somebody from the hood, and uh, he heard about Morgan Freeman. He was pimping. Yeah. You'll have fun with that one. Okay. okay. <laughs> when I'm talking to my bitch, you shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> 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 All right. All right. Okay. All right, y'all. Um, so next week we'll for sure have one. I'm gonna look through y'all stuff and I'm just gonna pick one. Uh oh, I like the Mac. I like that. Um Make Black Snake Moan. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, um, so we're going to get straight to uh, Jonay's gym so we can close this thing out because we have been here for a little while now. With, but, huh? Yeah, well, we've been here about two and a half. Okay. All right. Y'all give it up and get ready. Put them in the chat for Jonay's gyms. <laughs> I want. I want to. Uh, get my eight. Okay. I want to say thank. I want to thank everybody for all my my birthday uh, gifts and my texts, phone calls. Uh, you know, I wasn't. I wasn't feeling good at that time. But I thank everybody for um for thinking about me. Uh, had a couple people send me some flowers. It was it was really nice. I really enjoyed it. And I have a guy that I meant to. Uh talk his name is gerald brown and he he sent me a sweat shirt that says pca blessed and highly favored thank you gerald for my for my sweat shirt and he also sent some things for marcus uh shad did you get yours marcus didn't give it to you (laughs) them t-shirts and stuff it's gonna look well. Oh. Yeah, some t shirts he bought and, and some sh- shirts he bought, bought me. Also, he always sent us shea butter, uh, candles, uh, air fresheners. He just always sent us stuff, and I just want to thank him for that because I never got a chance to say that on here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, <clears throat> my uh, gym um, is regarding the, the same the same thing y'all was talking about, about the, uh, the guy who, who killed, the, killed the lady, I mean, killed his family. And I, I want to say something to the the parents, the parents that 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 watch their kids, that 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 they see that it's something wrong, and then and a lot of these kids are on the spectrum, but you you still don't want to give them the help that they need because you want them to be like you or like other kids, but still you, you have to get the kids the medication they need because now and. Now in time is is different. Like she was saying when they was when they was younger, the, you, you break up with a guy, he leave, and y'all just done. It's a different day and time now. We got a lot going on around here, and you know it's just you just have to make sure your kid get what they need. Quit bailing them out of situations that they need to learn from. You can't always bail, bail those kids out. That's one prime example. He got out and killed you and, and, and the dad, Every, you know, and the girl. You know, you just have to, you have to let these kids, as we say, bump they in. You just have, you have to, bump you have to head. do that. You just have to do that, you know, because if you don't, you know, because I know like me, with my grandson, I'm always giving him this, giving him that, but then their mouth be so slick and, and you just, just let it just, just ignore it, ignore it. But you can't be ignoring that stuff. You got to set these kids straight. You got to make sure they know what they're supposed to do. Because if they get away with so much in the house, then they think they get away with stuff outside of the house. And that's where all the trouble comes in. And then for the ladies, when you see the signs, it's so many signs. It's so many signs that you see with these men. And you continue to go back, go back, go back. Cause once you, but the thing is, the problem is that we don't, 
we don't love ourselves, when we continue to let people just just beat on us and, and mistreat us, we don't love ourselves. You have to love yourself. Once you love yourself, no man can mistreat you. But you cho- you know you let that happen because you saw your mama, you saw your grandma, you saw all of them go through all that same stuff that you're going through, and it's just a pattern. You just continue to just, just let the pattern just keep going, keep going, instead of you cutting it off. Somebody got to cut it off. Somebody has to cut it off. If you're not, it's just going to keep repeating and keep repeating. And all those people are dead. All those family members just, just lost out, lost their loved ones because you holding that child up in his mess or in his sickness. Because most of the time it's mental. It's just a mental thing. So, no, just, just look at the signs, y'all. Just look at the signs. The signs is there. We just ignore them. We got to stop ignoring the signs. You know, if, you, if your mom said he is, she, he ain't the one, he mistreating you. <laughs> hey, your mom knows. I'm telling you, she know. Yeah, you better listen to your mom because she been there and she's seen people that have been there. And you know, I'm just, just, it's just a sad situation, and I just hate, you know, hate that happen. But sometimes things like that have to happen for other people to see. And to, to learn to get out of all of that. You know, it's, it's just be sometimes it's just wake up calls. All we're going through is just wake up calls. You know, and just, just pay attention to your kids, pay attention to the mate that you have. And just just pay attention. That's all. <clears throat> okay. Let me say y'all then. I get it. We have our bias towards, you know, for our family or you know, friends or whatever. Mm-hmm. But your bias should have a limit to it. When it gets to a point where it's endangering other people or endangering uh, right. people that you love, right. especially, uh, or, or you're endangering the community, like, this this is where you start drawing your line. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter who it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, be, be biased. Love your people. You know what I'm saying? Right. But, right. but also understand that you taking that bias that far affects other people. You know what I mean? Like you're 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 allowing other people to get destroyed, the right. same way that you have your bias with that person. People have their bias with those people that's getting hurt and and being affected by this person destroying them. Right. You know what I mean? So you got to cut that. You got to you you got you got to you when you raise your children, you should raise your children as preparing for adulthood. You know what I mean? Like sometimes we are way too, uh, we're way too. Sometimes we're a little bit too disciplinary to to, to the children. Sometimes we're not enough. Not it's enough. Not enough. You know not what I'm enough. saying? And and when you do that, yeah. you're giving your your child a false sense of reality, and they believe and they carry that you know into adulthood, assuming that they. Have certain privileges, or they they're entitled to this, they're entitled to that, and then when they don't get that, they respond in a way. Some most of the times that it, it it's not a healthy way, right. because they they're not used to not being able to get all the things that they that you prepared them for. You you got women this 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 uh single mothers and treating their kid like a like they the king. Mm-hmm. Call them call some of them king. They, they skip the prince. Oh, this is my king. Uh, Little niggas. So you the, the queen, household. and this the king. Giving their kids that queens, complex. queens for kings. Uh, they don't. And that that's another thing where single mothers, <clears throat> they they put too much emotional. It's I almost I call it emotional incest to where it's like they don't have a man in the house, but they have a son. So they put too many, they treat their son emotionally like it's their man. Right. And I'm not saying <clears throat> nothing about molestation or nothing like that. Right, right. I'm saying emotionally to where it's like, you're not supposed to do that to a little man. Right. You know what I mean? When you're trying to raise a man, treat him like he's your son. Don't right. put burdens on him. Don't be trying to have stuff you want your man to do if you don't have a man in the house. That's not his job either. Right. Don't be trying to make him step up for you or don't talk to him about certain things to where right. it's like 
he don't need to hear that. That's not your man. So that's another thing that can corrupt young men to where it's like they don't have a real sense of reality when they get out into the world because it's like their mom was treating them like they was that nigga. And it's like, nigga, you you was a little boy. Right. You know what I mean? So and when when it gets to a point where you can't differentiate um, how she treats how she would treat a man versus how she would treat a, a, her child. Like if if the way she's treating a child is is very similar to the way she would when she would treat a man, then it's a problem. When you get yeah. to a point, he's when he's two, three years old, four years old, and and every time you feed him, he get the choice. Right. Uh. I. I he don't need to be eating McDonald's every day just because he want it. Right. Right. What are you talking about? Oh, I, I don't want that. I want, well, if you don't eat it, you ain't going to. Because what he don't understand is if you don't have it when you get older, you ain't going to be able to get it. Right. Are you going to do the wrong stuff to get it? Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and if, if he feels entitled to get that, he feel like he's deserving it, he going to do it. Like you say, he's going to do whatever it takes to get that. Because he feel like, shit, this is what I'm supposed to get. I always been getting this. Right. Spoiler, can, uh, spoiler can hurt him just as bad as, 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 right. as, yep. as, as hard discipline. Right. Yep. Right. It's the same. And, and, and it, it I have him doing shit like killing their baby mama. And, and shooting at the police when they come to get their ass. Like yeah. he didn't have, he didn't get his way. Out of control. And he didn't have his way. You, 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 your emotions are all over the place right. because you're getting pampered like a woman mm-hmm. by your mama. Your mama's pampering you like you a bad bitch. Well, because what the kids do, the mama do, and then they go to a girl, and they, the girl do the same thing. Take care of just like the mama did. He ain't working, he ain't doing nothing. You, yeah, you because he's he he about training to to, to 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 treat him like that, like oh, uh, you know, because you know, some, sometimes you know, women are are, are are gullible, you know what I mean, and shit, that's what they do. They, they I will, I, you know, you you got to you got to treat it, you got to ladies, you got to recognize the king when you see one, you know what I'm saying? Y'all get a lot of these peasants, y'all give them king privileges and shit, you know what I'm saying? When you, when it's a real king. That handle his business and take he, care he's of He's saying his. king, y'all. He's yeah. saying king. Yeah. When it's a real king that handle his business and take care of his <laughs> and, and look out for you, right. you treat him like a king. But y'all end up treating these peasants like kings, and then you get to a point where you get bitter or you get you get burnt out, and you don't want to treat a nigga like nothing no more, and you fuck around and run across one of them kings, because God bless you with the king when you ain't ready for it. You fuck around under cross one of them kings. And you like, you know what? I ain't gonna treat this nigga like nigga. The last nigga, you compare him to the last nigga. And he ain't that last nigga. Mm-hmm. Huh? He that nigga. <laughs> He's him, not them. <laughs> you understand? Do you feel me knocking? Let me in there. Right. Treat a king like a king. Don't treat them busters like that. If he if if, if he he depended on you to the point where where he's taken away from you, that nigga ain't no king. You know what I'm saying? If he ain't if this nigga ain't got nothing going on, and he he ain't got no he ain't got no potential, that nigga ain't no king. If you don't see if you can't if you can't trust in this nigga vision, if you can't see that nigga leading you in no way, no how, he ain't no king. Uh, you gotta find a nigga like me. I'm Lu Kang. Oh God! Here we go. Hear me? The dragon. <laughs> I'm dragging your ass through the mud, baby. But we gonna get somewhere. You understand me? We gonna get to a destination. Fucking with me. Oh, I'm a hell of a leader. Shit. I'm a leader, but I ain't gonna beat her. You gotta follow, baby. Follow and swallow. I mean, you you gotta Big follow. Man. I was I was reading something. All right, no, you wouldn't. I'll read something. They wrote Shoot. something in the comment. You got to follow something great. Yeah, man. Hold on to it. When you find you something good, hold on to it. 
find you somewhere. You gotta find ladies. You gotta find somebody worth following that you know is a great leader. Give me with leadership qualities. Cause a lot of these niggas y'all be dealing with. I don't know what you be thinking about. I don't know what you be thinking about. A lot of times these women just want to be in control, and that's what they'll just accept it. Huh? Some of them just want to be in control. Or the women? Mm-hmm. And then they accept that. That's what they think they want. I, I think I'm more like, than yeah, it's, more it's, than anything, most people are afraid of being alone. So they settle for anything. Yeah. Right. See, and that's... And most people don't know how to fucking be single. Correct. And that's, it's a that's beautiful correct. thing, and that's a problem now to where it's like, yo, I don't know if it's just me or just... When you're alone, sometimes it's like that's the best time you can have to work, just to just journey. And it's like it feels good being alone, especially when you've been around somebody for too long or you have somebody up in your house for a couple days too long. And it's like there's nothing like just being like just having your peace. And it's like you'll do anything just to get with you. So if you don't want to be alone, that's something you need to to dig deeper inside you because it's like. There's a reason why. Most people want their own space. Whether you got kids, you got a husband, you got a wife, everybody wants their alone time. So if you're scared to be alone, that's a problem. You need to check yourself. It's a dependency. It's just like any drug or anything else you're dependent on. That's a problem. Right. Well, that's a problem. Well, 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 a lot of people have what you call attachment issues. Dependency. You know what I mean? Oh, dependency. And, yeah. And, and, and most of the time, that's in women. They have attachment issues. They, you, you ever met a woman that says she she can't be without a boyfriend? Oh, I know a few of them. I she, got family. She can't stand I got, I got, that I got single some live shit. members like that. Men like, like that too. Yeah. Who? She ain't too many of them. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of them. Ain't oh, no, never. There's a lot of them. There's a, a lot, lot of men. Not, not, ain't not, never not, been by themselves. They not, always got to have a woman. Not some, not, some no, not number you. Yeah. It's gonna be kicking it around you. But trust me, bro. I grew up out here. In oh, the oh, they they be up oh, under us. They be too. a lot of dudes they out here. They be up under us too. They they hide. They hide behind a veil of being a real nigga. But it's a post going around that says. <laughs> All you niggas done told some woman before that y'all would kill yourself if she leave you. And yeah. oh, okay, okay, you know All right. what I'm saying? I, you're right, you're it's, right. It's a lot of niggas out here. You're right. A, a lot of it's a post going around saying a lot of uh, all you men have told some woman at some point in time that y'all would kill yourself if she left you. And I'm like, I know. Huh? that's that's I not. Never said no I've, I've, I've heard that, but it's like, you yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. That's not that's not that's not no common shit. But they are they're letting it be known that a lot of women have dealt with these type of men. They've come in contact. They've encountered these type of men. You know what I'm saying? So they definitely exist, and they hide amongst all of us like they cool motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Like they real motherfuckers. And then they get along behind them closed doors. They bucking up on a woman. You ain't never seen them get tough with a nigga. They doing mm -hmm. all of this extra shit, all this fuck shit. Right. And then they come around everybody and, and try to act like they normal. Well, see, for, from, my, from my experience, uh, most of the time men have commitment issues, which is the total opposite. They don't want to commit. Committed. Listen to what I'm telling you. Listen to what I'm telling you. They don't want to commit to anything. They don't want to commit to a woman. They don't want to. They want to. They want to. You know, move along. You know, that's what. That's what. You know, m most men. That's because you know, most of the time I'm around men. You know what I'm saying? I'm around. You know what I mean? Uh, so it's like that's that's what I'm really used to. So I, these sucker niggas that I be here seeing in the news and shit, I know they exist, but it's not. It's not a majority for me. So I don't. You know, unless you know, unless niggas is, 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 is like you say, they 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 good at. Cloaking themselves, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I'm uh, some of them you know, you know they saying? have commitment issues, but they still got a woman. Mm -hmm. They ain't just been by themselves. That's what he's saying. Been by yourself and not had a woman in your life just to figure you out. Ain't yeah. too many men doing that. They're gonna go from one to the north to the north to the north. No, but well, that's, that's, that's well, just think, more human nature. Yeah, I think this yeah. is human nature. I don't, I don't, I don't, we, we talking about being. Uh, in a, in a relationship, committed to 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 because most 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 women are they in a relationship and they're committed to one one particular person and they they're holding on to that particular person. Men, we kind of like boom 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 but, boom. You know, it's, but it's still like, that's, it's, that's the same though. With your, that's still what you were saying, right? 
I mean, still being by themselves. People don't know how to be by themselves. Yeah. And not men, just and being women, committed. But just, but, 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 just, but, but, not just but being committed. Just becomes, being by yourself. It becomes even more toxic when you when you put uh, more into one person because that means you're su- you're super attached to that particular person to where yeah. your emotions are fully invested and 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 if you don't have full control of your emotions, mm-hmm. you're willing to do something dangerous to you. Or to yourself or them, yeah. Because that, but but if you're, you know, you if you're spreading yourself amongst other people, that's just you want to be around. You know, you you just want that. Uh, um, what, what, I'm trying to feel the fem- void. Yeah, you just trying but, to feel the void. Must feel like it's femininity. The same thing with any kind of dependency, whether it's it's the same thing with drugs, alcohol, right. any right. kind of dependency. To where it's like, as soon as that somebody takes it away, mm-hmm. you're not you then you need to figure you out because that's not safe because the minute they aren't there, if something happens, say they don't leave you or whatever, but like tragedy happens. Yeah. You got to deal with that. It's like, and 50 Cent said it best to where it's like, yeah, a crutch may, might make you feel like you can operate better, but learn how to operate without the crutch because anytime you got a crutch, whenever you don't have it, you can't walk. Then yeah, what's right. going to happen? Right. right. So, right. you know, don't you want to learn how to walk by yourself? Right. Absolutely. Yeah. I, that's that's most people trying to use another person to heal mm-hmm. instead of them figuring themselves out and going to get the therapy or the treatment right. or the the proper uh, medicine or attention that will allow them to be in a healthy situation. They find somebody that they feel like makes them happy and they attach themselves to that and that's where that dangerous shit come in at because you're putting too much on another person right. it can't be another person's job to make you happy it right. can't right. be another person's job to keep you in a healthy mental space that's right. entirely too much to put on somebody yeah. and they go tap out at some point in time and then when you choose to tap out that's when this person feels like they can go the extra mile they can be become harmful to you I've said it before, the most confusing thing to me in our society is that we'll get with a person and we'll want the world for them. Things go, things uh, make a turn for the worse, and now all of a sudden you want to bring them harm. That's the most confusing shit to me mm-hmm. in our society that but I've that's never understood. That's how they done that's, gave that too much to them. They that's where just, the term a thin like line said, between love, love and, and hate, hate come from. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because you can love so much, someone so... Uh, uh, you can love because you can't hate you can't really hate nobody that you don't really know yeah you know what i'm saying or you don't really fuck with you don't care enough so you have to care enough to have that deep of a feeling to hate them right right you know what i'm saying so it's is you're invested you're 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 invested so so when you're when you're when when you feel when it's something that shake that room Cause you got to get in the room in order to be shaking at the room. Right. You know what I'm saying? So when you get in that room and that motherfucker shake too hard, now you mad in the motherfucker. Cause why this goddamn room shaking? What's going on outside? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That was a terrible analogy, but I, you know, you see what I, I'm I was trying to well, follow that, you. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> that, that comes with giving. You got to crawl <laughs> <laughs> before that. you walk. <laughs> that comes with what you just said about you just a woman just giving it all to one person, and then they have invested, you know, mm-hmm. and just in that person. And then when that person messed up, they don't know what to do because they was get giving it all to that one person. Right, right. And that just makes you them panic. just crazy. You panic. Yeah, cause you ain't you ain't you you ain't been by yourself and figured yourself out. Mm-hmm. You know, I've been mm-hmm. look, I've been single for six years. It might be six more before I put up with some bull. Mm-hmm. I'm fine. I love my life. I love getting up when I get ready, doing and going what I need to do, not have to answer nobody. I when I say I love it, I love it. I just be smiling. I be walking through here just smiling, have my music on, enjoying my enjoying my son, my grandson, just enjoying life. You know, you, you got to learn how to. Love yourself and be by yourself before you can. Hey, that, that, compa- that companionship, something else, though, baby. Yeah, Ooh, yeah. that companionship, something yeah. else. 
It's companionship, Ooh, companionship. or just screwing. You stupid. Uh, well, it's a difference. <laughs> yeah, thinking, man, yeah, it's different. Man, <laughs> Yo, that's, that's just that's, screwing. That's that compassion. Right. Compassion. Right. Right. That's right. that compassion, that's compassion ship, baby. Right. Compassion ship. Mm. I like that. That's a new word for y'all right there. Compassion y'all write that down. Compassion ship. <laughs> Compassion. Some of this compassion ship, baby. Get you some yeah. beer. I don't want no companion ship, baby. I want some compassion ship. <laughs> oh, I like that. That boy cold off the muscle. Why? Something that I do want to uh get, get us the 600 before we get up out there, y'all. Mom, 600 likes. We're at 566. We need 34. Likes. <laughs> uh, something that I uh I would like to see become more popular and commercialized in the uh poly community. They got a word called compersion. And compersion is the ability to derive pleasure from seeing somebody else happy. And I think our entire society could benefit off yeah. of that mentality. You know what yeah, I'm saying? That's a great that's one. something I think we they need to talk it. about a whole lot motherfucking more. Cause not everybody like to see people happy. They you jealous. Know what I'm saying? They want to be what people are instead of being happy for the people. Right. Mm-hmm. Cause right. We, you know, cause what's for you mm. is for you. Yeah. What they got in it, that ain't, that's their portion. Right. You have to let people have their portion and, and, and and be happy for them. Right. For your portion to come to you. That's why a lot of us don't haven't got the thing that we supposed to have because we jealous of other people and want to be in they in their shoes, covenant what they got. But hey. Yeah. Well man, episode fifty one, this was great, man. I'm glad you came through, my boy. I'm yeah. glad you came through, hey, man. Kill a cam. Always. I'm glad you came through, man. It was it was, it was one Man, we about to episode fifty two. A it's ten year can make a year, but we're gonna count it at fifty three to cause cause that'll be a full one. So fifty three, that'll be the full whole year. So then two weeks it'll be a full whole we got we'll have a full whole year episode. Why why not fifty two? Cause fifty two is, is the mark at the fifty two. You know what I'm saying? At fifty three, that's the start of a new era. A year in a week. We get huh? the finish line. Yeah, that's yeah. that's year, year and a week. No, it'd be a year, and we when we started that that, that we we don't count that one. You can't count it when you own it. I don't know. That's not this how numbers know. work. This, no, you don't know. How, you don't know how <laughs> numbers work. Now, the first week, listen, you got when you start so day. do January first start to start at the beginning of the year, or do or do, or, or do, do December thirty first start at the beginning of the year? January 1st. Okay, then. So that'll be my January 1st, nigga, if I do f- episode 53, because 52 weeks is the December 31st. Season 2 starts. My God. <laughs> <laughs> Teach that boy something real quick. Well, I'm going to show you how math works, boy. Don't worry about no, it. Yo, you got Chad confused over there. I'm going to show it's you okay. how math works. Don't it's worry okay. about it. I'm cold with this shit now. I'm cold with this shit. He said, hey, Mr. Week. I ain't miss a week. I ain't miss a week at all, my boy. No, sir. I ain't miss a week the whole year. None yeah. He started this barbecue business. You understand me? <laughs> so he can't miss nothing. All right. So look here. He said we can hold. Anybody? <laughs> anybody? Oh, we can hold. Oh. Now, now I get it. Now I didn't work the job before. <laughs> I, I, I didn't work the job now before. You know. That we can hold we, paycheck. We, uh, God damn it. Cam, before we get out here, man, you want to? You got anything? Shad ain't missed. Not Shad. Hey, baby, Mister. Hold on, hold on. Uh, before we get out here, man, you got anything you want to announce? Uh, you know, you got anything upcoming? You got anything people want to check out? You know, you, you know, social media is on the thing, so you ain't you can't say it, but you ain't got to. Yeah, really, just peep the gram because all of y'all y'all from all over, so it's like, yeah, I got my show out here. That's in L.A. Sun Sunset and Gower Trippy Tuesdays every Tuesday eight o'clock. Um, and if you can't make it, I post. Some of my stand up online on Instagram. I post sketches on Instagram. Dave Jamal said, you know, how do you get on your show? How do you get on my show? Uh, DM the Trippy Tuesdays Instagram. And then uh, we'll have the bookers get back to you. Because, yeah, I don't I don't directly do it. So Okay. Yeah. You spell the Tuesdays regular, right? T U. Okay. So the Trippy Tuesdays Instagram is T R I P P Y T U S T U E S D A Z E. Comedy, C O M E D Y. Right on. Yeah. Hell yeah. There we go right there. It'll pop up. It looks like Grand Theft Auto, but it's not. It's Trippy Tuesday, so you'll see when it comes up. <laughs> yeah. You know. You might have to slide back through with pops yeah. or somebody, man. You know what I'm saying? 
you know? Yeah, see, if you can convince old Pops or Ark or something, you know what I'm saying? Slide mm-hmm. through and forward with us, man. You know, he fuck with Corey here, uh, Joe yeah. do with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. Got hey, you. Huh? Got you. Got you. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, 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 man. Just tell him, you know, yeah. you know, young, young, and you know what I'm saying? Young boy. Young boy coming up in the game, man. Tell him oh, I get, I get, I get the subscribers up a little higher, man. If you know what I'm saying, if I'm there, yeah. you know that'll bring them through. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He said, just follow you, my guy. My people's in PJ Watts yeah. and Palm Springs, so they gonna, yeah. they gonna come through and fuck with you, man. Y'all, yeah. y'all go to his page and put them horses in the chat for him, man. Let them yeah. know what, let them know who it is and where yeah, he at. Yeah. You know man, what I'm saying? Man, streaming. You know what I'm saying? Uh, mama, what you got? Well, I need y'all to hit my Instagram. Um, men, women, children. You got any stories that we gonna start pulling these stories out so we can help some people? When I start my podcast, I wanna have diff- have it all, you know, set up for the days, the people that I want and everything. So just hit me up. We gonna we gonna get this healing going in the land. Healing in the land. What we doing? Chad, what you got? Man, if y'all ain't peeped, I done changed all my social media to free game Chad. I'm rebranding myself for the year, breaking into this comedy thing, this entertainment game, and I'm finna make some change. You know what I'm saying? So uh rock with me. And um F R E E G A M E C H A D on all platforms, including Cash App. Yeah, yeah. Uh so Y'all already know I'll be in the Bay. Ah, I gotta get that address, man. Uh, I'm Lou. It's gonna be it's Lou. Uh, do too much. Uh, Tuesday. I mean Fridays. It's gonna be on the twentieth. God, God damn! I gotta get that uh, address from Lou. Um, and um, I just told so David Lucas is doing the San Jose Improv on February second. I'm slide down there on him. Uh. Do a little time over there, you know what I'm saying? So if you in San Jose, uh shit, come fool with me. How let me, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then I got some other dates that's coming up. I I will I'll let y'all know when they hit, you know what I'm saying? But y'all already know it's going down, man. Follow me on the social medias, you know Marcus. Follow the mainstream podcast on Instagram, M-A-N-E-S-T-R-E-A-M-P-O-D-C-A-S-T, Mainstream Podcast. We on Instagram, man. We trying to get to 1,000. We at like 800 something. You know what I'm saying? So, go on, crank us up to that 1,000 real quick, y'all. So, we can start, I can start posting more clips on them. I'm finna start posting, uh, oh, oh, it's at Rob Benz, Neighborhood Soul, 3627 San Pablo Avenue, Emeryville, California, um, for, um, for Lou's, uh, show on the twentieth. If you uh, in that area, you know, in, near the Oakland area, yeah, come, 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 high letters, come, high letters. But yeah, uh, so yeah, man, do that, do that, man. Follow that mainstream podcast. M a n e s t r e e a m p o d c a s t. Mainstream podcast. Get us to a thousand, man. This was episode fifty one, man, and it was a damn good episode, man. We got another call that we can. Do. We can, we can, we can, we can, we can <laughs> post out there so let them folks see, man. Shit, it be happening right here. <laughs> it be happening. Man, much love to y'all, man. Man, thank you. Thank you once again for coming in, Cam, man. Y'all know I appreciate y'all, family, man. You know. Salute. Yeah, salute, man. Salute. We wouldn't be right here if it wasn't for y'all, man. So, uh, and, and y'all in the comments, y'all, y'all, y'all subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button and like button on the way out. And I thank y'all. For you know what I'm saying, sitting here and rocking with us, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all the best, man. Y'all, y'all solid, man. And y'all come through every week, man, and rock with me. We're gonna get this bitch growing, man, by, by, by posting these clips, man. I just gotta get myself more organized. And uh man, we we, we finna we finna make some shit crack, man. 2023 is it's, it's going down, man. It's yeah. Going down, man. So much love, man. We out this thing. Y'all already know we do the hug on the way out. Yes, sir. Six hundred in the chat. Appreciate y'all for man. that. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Here go another damn podcast. But you got me to up, partner. This here gonna be a little different, man. Check me out, though. Let me spit some of this pimp shit. You did. 
She say, where we going, baby? I say, we going to the moon. But I'm the biggest star in this movie. And you'll be coming soon. Don't you that bitch. Picture this. Just listen when I spit. I be your Santa Claus. Ho, ho, ho. You can have everything on your Christmas list. You ain't gotta say a word. I do all the talking. But you the big stepper, baby. You do all the walking. Hold on. Stop the beat. What the hell they got to do with the podcast? You standing talking like you a damn pimp. You a comedian. You ain't no damn pimp. Man, why you hating, mama? Because you're messing up my image. Man, what you want me to do? You want me to change it up? Yeah. Don't nobody want to hear that shit. All right, mom. I'm, I'm going to change it up. Put some salt in their mouth. What's up with it, baby? What's up with it? Yeah, it's time to get it started. Hey. Got your name Feng Shui in the building. Shui. And you know mom. You know mom. Okay. Yeah, we both from the country. But well, we living in the city. Yeah. yeah, my mama might be a little old, but she's still looking pretty. Come on you got your folks in the city. You know what I'm talking about? And you know we stay clean. Trish if you see me on 5150, then it's two two line. No, I'm rapping ass. Yeah, we use different words, country but we saying the same Put thing. The yeah, we independent now. Don't need nobody. But we still mainstream. Yeah. Now there you go. That's better. Now start the damn show. <laughs>